Hello, oh, welcome to Seven Sided Dice Carpathian Adventure. I'm Ooh, Tom. Cool. In a moment, we'll introduce the players in what we call role play a warm up. Uh, but before that, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Unlike some other uh, Twitch and YouTube channels, please know that we are not professional actors. And this is not a professional show. You just saw the, tech, the stream go up and then come back down again when everything was frozen. So technology has a way of defeating us. Uh, and we are also clearly not voice actors. Some of us uh, are military, some are in IT, others you know, retail managers, a few are parents, students, etc. So we do this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it. Nonetheless, lest I forget to mention it, we must thank Sirenscape for the use of their sound effects, their audio sound effects. That's www.syrinscape.com. We'd also like to thank you, again, our Twitch and Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers for joining us. If you have not already, please like, sub, or subscribe, and as Brian the Hammer says, ding that bell. Also, uh, Brad, our Carpathian Adventures Jumnus Donflower is just just uh, arriving. He's marketing our t-shirts and sweatshirts with the seven-sided die logo and other designs. And we have a contest planning that he is organizing. We'll get back to him in a moment. But now we're going to go around the table and recap what happened last week. So... Uh, I don't know if it's my <laughs> phone, but something's off with Twitch. Something's off. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's just a purple screen. Just a purple screen. Okay. On YouTube, it's fine, but I don't know. I'll look into it. But in the meantime, let's recap what happened last week. We'll start with. Uh, I think we started over here before. Mind. This time, we'll start with. Uh, um, Shalom. Shalom, Eli. If you can rec help us recap what For happened sure. last week. Last week, or two weeks ago, rather. Two weeks ago, as well. uh, <laughs> me and my companions were approaching the palace when suddenly we heard uh, a noise, a muffled void, muffled noise. You, we went there to check. It was on a alley or some shady house. Uh, when we got there, we noticed there were a lot of people beating someone inside. So we managed to get inside the house and rescue the the guy who turned out to be one of the prison guards. Uh, he said that the the villains wanted to find some kind of access to the prison, and they were torturing him to find that out. We never managed to find out who the guys were because they died before we could question them. But we did manage to save the little girl. Uh, she's, uh, her mother was already there when we got there. Uh, she said that they came here because the, the guard was supposed to tell her mother where they could find his, her father. Something like that. The guard wanted to uh, have a relationship with the lady, but it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she died before. <laughs> so we could have. I hate the way that happens. <laughs> <laughs> the story of my life. Uh, Where is your wife? <laughs> 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 But we decided to take Which the girl. One? <laughs> <laughs> we decided to take the girl back to her inn and see if we can find some information about her and deliver her to a safe place. Uh, we might even send her to the orphanage. Yes, <laughs> the one that we're uh, we're gonna be sponsoring. The, the orphans of the sun. Yeah, the orphans <laughs> of the sun. <laughs> After this campaign's over, those are going to be our characters for the next one. Ooh, the Orphans uh, of the Sun. Yeah. That one, that's, that's, interesting. that's a good idea. That would be a good segue. Can I think of some terrifying ideas just based so, on the name You'll be alone. getting into that soon. <laughs> 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 
20 so. years later, <laughs> we are the authors. Okay. Of Anything else they like? Shalom. Well, about us, that's that's what happened. Okay. Uh, Mattias Reiner via Skype this week, joining us. Reiner, Mattias, anything else to add to that? Um, I don't know if Boren's sudden outburst of violent rage was mentioned, but um, after the rescue of the guard and the young girl, uh, we apparently were not asking the right questions fast enough for Boren's tastes, and we were focusing on the wrong su fu subjects in the conversation. So he tried to smash in the guard's head because apparently he seemed too suspicious. Okay. Some There's... of us took serious exception to that. Okay. Anything else? Well, yes, the guard said that he was going to bury all the bodies mm -hmm. because he didn't want to right. tell the story to his bosses. Okay. Um... Mark, Kip, I, anything to add? I killed someone. Hey! Well, <laughs> well the wolf uh, did it. <laughs> I mean, that, you know, that's, that's my action. Okay? I don't know. It seems uh, kind of odd to cheer <laughs> for that, too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it, it, was, it was noted. Right? So, along um, with my waving of my blonde hair gif, <laughs> yours will be, I killed someone. Yes. I killed someone. I killed yes. someone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. He confessed. Wait, what? No, um... Yeah, no, that was, um, so yeah, I think um, we were torn, the, the party was torn as to whether or not we even wanted to be involved in this um, matter of these muffled sounds in the house, um, and there was some arguing going on um, outside, so I just decided, or Kip had decided to just act slovenly drunk and, you know, try to get inside to uh, use the loo or, uh, you know, discover that there might be a party inside uh, when we discovered that they were wearing animal masks, I don't know if that was mentioned. Um, so we managed to get inside, and as Eli mentioned, chaos ensued. Um, and I think a couple of the members of the party might be a little torn about whether or not we did the right thing. We killed people that we had no business killing. Um, what the purpose of those guys were to want access to the prison, I think we're, some of us are a little confused on that, as to whether or not they were trying to get you know, people out of the prison that might have been wrongfully put there. Um, so there's, I, I think some people, some people in the party are undergoing some, some little conscious civil war within themselves about how this transpired. Okay, interesting, interesting spin. Um, nothing civil about war. Wait, what have you done with your beard? <laughs> I know, I don't even know who I am. <laughs> you know, Mark Barry. Ryan, AKA. Uh, I was not here. So oh, that's right. You're apparently, right. I was just studying the arcane. You were out in the market wow. watching our boys. <laughs> uh, before we Making come back to Gundry, uh, let's go over to uh, Jumnus, Brad. Um, I mean, everybody pretty much covered everything pretty well, actually. Um, we're still, we. I mean, I don't think we've decided to do anything with this guy just yet. We're still deliberating, so we're we're in the middle of it. I think is is the the biggest point. Okay. Oh, um, I would also like to add that there was um, some money and gems that were found. I don't remember who actually picked them up, but they have not been distributed yet. No. Okay. I trust somebody. You've got track of them. Yeah, I, I, I only, I I only, only have somewhere. what the mother had with her. Somebody, I don't remember. There was 236 the gold and 11 gems. I think it was me. I'm pretty sure it was you. <laughs> okay, so you have whatever they have. Mm -hmm. and, okay. so, and I have whatever the, yep. the mod I have. 236 gold right pieces and 11 gems. Yes. Let's jump over to Gundrick. Gundrick, what else was going on that was not inside that room? Gundrick, aka Dill. Well, uh, Jonas Dawnflower got, uh. <laughs> got caught for uh, stealing. Uh. I don't know. Like, Gundrick doesn't know that term really. Unless it's applied to him. Uh, and basically had his hand cut off. Well, hand cut off. Uh, and as the punishment for stealing. But it was a fake hand. Because some guy made an actual projection of himself. Appeared at Gunjig. Told him this huge giant plan. And now Gunjig has to go to a house. Beat a woman with a book. Then get beaten by guards. And all this crazy stuff he now has to do, basically. Okay, fair enough. 
Okay. Before we come to that, one, thank you very much. Has any, everybody updated the character tracker? I think it's pretty accurate. The yes. big thing I need to know is your current hit points. Your current hit points, if you, if you haven't already updated so, that. Oh, uh, um, yeah, I updated it. Brad, I'm gonna, you don't know what's coming here. Uh, Brad has an, a new toy in front of him. A, uh, it looks like a pistol grip. Uh, I'm gonna ask Brad to pick it up, hold it at, uh, we didn't really have, we never have time to rehearse because we get together like everybody's running from work to get here. There you go, hold it like that. And Brad, you are now live. Uh, and uh, Brad, I know Ryan. There you go. <laughs> what, what am I supposed to be doing? You're telling us about the t-shirt and sweatshirts that are right. available yeah. via, you're over that way. Yes, over. I, when, I, I, when I point that way, I'm pointing at oh, you. Oh, you're pointing at me. Okay, yes. Yes. Um, so the official t-shirt sponsor, <laughs> this is so weird. If that makes sense. The official t-shirt sponsor of uh, Seven Sided Dies, Golden Monkey Tees, where you can find them at goldenmonkey.threadless.com. And then as Tom mentioned before, you're over here now. <laughs> As Tom mentioned we'll figure before, this out. we gotta flip um, these cameras around. We're doing a sweepstakes kind of deal. So once we hit 50 YouTube subscribers, we will be giving away a T-shirt. Uh, and there's a couple designs. It's gonna be a nice, soft, fluffy tri-blend T-shirt. Um, so subscribe on YouTube. Go buy the T-shirts at goldenmonkey.threadless.com. Awesome. And I think we are at 27. I believe last time I checked, 27. Yes, so we've been at 27 for like weeks now. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> no, it's only been a week. It's I've run out of friends. <laughs> I've run out of friends. <laughs> Most is of them are at this table. Are we done with this now? Or? <laughs> <laughs> leave it on the table. Just I have 26 friends. Or, uh, <laughs> the other one is monologuing or, or anything else. Okay. So that's there. Three if three anybody has like a dramatic monologue or you want to point it at something to show something off. That's why that's there. Okay. Okay. Dope. Uh, and it's got a long. It's got a, about a twenty foot long cable on it, so it should be good to go. Uh, the, oh, so I could probably take it to the to the loo. You can take go, it to right? the yes. loo. Okay. Yes. That's not <laughs> anything. <laughs> Guys, I that's mean, what going good. Right? Right? That's, that's, that's not D and D. That's P and show. D and D. Maybe there's a lot of female watchers. You know. To get me like the news. And now we'll check in with Brian. I don't think I inspiration. I don't think it's a show. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, so good. Take a look at meetup. Oh, yeah. Let's meet up. Yeah, I'm protected by the guns. Because I protect your ass. That's why. Oh, we don't, we don't do that at the end of the game. Just I'm automatically. Like we're just giving it throughout. Uh, you're talking about inspiration for attending? Yeah. It's we just do it now here. for, uh, because everybody's Back swimming here. in inspiration, we do it now for, like, role playing. Does that make sense? We've been doing that that way for a little while. I know you were out, out for a bit. Is these a hand um, inspiration hand Okay, I mean, they were. jumping ahead. <laughs> There's role play question for this week, and I can't remember where we started last oh time, God. so we're gonna start over Maybe with Brad this time. In character, mm -hmm. answer. What are your pet peeves? Ah, that's what it was. Oh. Right. Um, so one of the things that bothers me is and I'm not gonna name any names, Borinth and Boulder, uh, but they, they kind of chew with their mouth open when we eat, and it's just so, it's like, they're just like, ah, ah, ah. and I get that they're big Viking fighters, but like, just close your mouth a little bit. And then, Marius, and <clears throat> Marius, <clears throat> Uh, just a couple times we got drunk, he's, he's just a little touchy. You know, he's very friendly, but you know, that's it, that, those are my pet peeves. So, you, Mattias, you must imbibe with the rest of the group. Is that what you're saying, or no? When he does, well, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. Mattias is very friendly. We're all very friendly. We're all good friends. <laughs> I just, I don't know. You get a little huggy, and sometimes it's weird. A little huggy? Yeah, just a little touchy. I think it's because he's a vegan. That, wow, that must be it. Is Mattias a vegan? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> we never really figured that Oops. out. But, okay. We don't need <laughs> to go that way. Just just gonna gonna pull sorry, Mattias, I just outed you. Was he going to be 700 years ago? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it could have been. Well, of course. Of course. Well, but, but vegetarianism anything, so. did exist. It existed as far back as ancient Greece. Okay. Ooh. I guess vegans were those guys who couldn't pay for meat. <laughs> yeah. Or couldn't hunt it. Or couldn't hunt <laughs> it. Or couldn't hunt it. Yeah. Okay. Just, they were vegans. <laughs> Uh, continuing on, uh, Boulder. Boulder. I am not prepared at all, but, uh, I wasn't either. But I'm um, oh, wait, I'm that sorry, was, we're, we're trying to tone that down. That was forget. really good. <laughs> um, not much, honestly, not much bothers no. Boulder. Not much bothers Boulder, but, uh, just let him get his sleep. <laughs> don't, okay. Don't wake him up. <laughs> Can don't worry. I don't know. He's, a, he's a grumpy bear. bear. What? He's a grumpy bear. There we'll wake go. him up. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Kip. 
Fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was really I remember when I read this, the first thing that I thought was people chewing with their mouths open. Uh, but then I realized really? that, that was actually my pet peeve. It might not be Kip's pet peeve. Um, but um, no, I don't know. I think um, just thinking about like his backstory and stuff like that, I think that Kip's pet peeves would be anybody that really mistre mistreats animals or children, um, and then to a certain extent, women. I don't. I, I mean, I don't think that bothers him all the time, but sometimes <laughs> it might bother him a little bit. <laughs> all the time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that seems like let's a little not go more than a pet. Let's, yeah. yeah. let's not go <laughs> too deep on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a tad bit concerning. Not, not like, all the time. Not all the time. I mean, you know, there's the ones that fight back. Oh, no. no. <laughs> beating women. Just Nadia, I didn't say beating. Really gets Reiner. Like, oh, picking on Reiner, that just we just lost me. two viewers. Oh, Reiner, <laughs> Mattias. What are your, what is Mattias's, in character, what is Mattias's pet peeves? Mattias's pet peeves, uh... Well, given that he's practically living a chaotic fantasy, one of the most vital is anything that goes against, that that goes contrary to what he perceives as the law, which essentially is whatever he perceives as being compliant with his interpretation of the law, as taught as explained to him under the legal code of the Kingdom of Hungary, specifically. Um, second would probably be. Uh, well, anyone who's who he perceives as being too full of themselves, and and by extension, anything that would involve uh, too uh, pride, for example. And third, quite frankly, he would he's he's more than a than a little. Uh, specific about where things go and how they're supposed to be he will spend he can easily spend half an hour just shifting around a small bowl on a desk because he doesn't think it looks right really wow okay he OCD. is uh medieval OCD. ocd he's medieval ocd yeah there you go <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 chaotic ocd a virtual token <laughs> comes your way medieval ocd uh shalom Eli. Uh, as a monk, uh, I try to. I I believe I I, I don't have pet peeves. I don't. I, I don't I don't really mind what other people do, but I guess uh, after years of following the Templar's tradition, I I have a like a schedule I have. Eight o'clock, I have to do this. Nine o'clock, I have to do this. I guess I don't like when people interrupt me when I'm when I do God's work. Or, okay. Uh, never speak when someone is praying. Okay. Just so you know, that's rude to the guy upstairs. <laughs> Guys and gals. Okay. Upstairs. Outstanding, very uh, character, cool in character. Gundrick Vauxhall, Dylan, if you have the pet peeves, if Gundrick has them. I would say there's mainly only one, and if it's like, if there's like, a how do I know where this is going? <laughs> it's totally coming in my direction. <laughs> it's actually not. <laughs> it's actually not. Wait, wait. <laughs> what you're thinking? Uh, it's. If there's like a plan and it's a good plan, it's going to work, but then one person screws it up, that just annoys the hell out of Gundrick. Like, just if you have everything going perfectly and then just one thing is out of place, like Gundrick kills a lot of people, he wants to kill that person if they mess it up. Because he like admires how machines work and all that. And he admires how when everything is in its place, it can just all be amazing. But if something is out of its place, it just really annoys him. Hmm. There's a lot of OCD people. Gunter must be annoyed all the time because he's always the one that's deviating from the plan. Okay. I was going to say he, he's never annoyed because our plans never work oh, out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, I don't so, know that's true. You guys Before. have to remember that our plan doesn't have to be his plan. That's true. 
Look, there's always a plan, and it comes from above, so it's all going according to But our plan is yes. just kill yes. until the enemy's dead. That's been the plan. Amen yeah. to yeah. that. Almost always. Amen <laughs> to that. Um, Boring. Kill until the enemy's dead. So, you know what I really can't stand is when people have too many possessions and they choose to carry around with them all of the time, all of their possessions. A lot of the times I'm the one that's getting the horses ready, getting us packed up to head out, and you guys have so much stuff. And I can't live without forever it. <laughs> to load up all the equipment. Not anymore, I don't And to make it even worse, it. make it even worse, Ooh. is all the heavy yeah. armor wearers. When you take your armor off, you're gonna go do whatever, you gotta get out of the armor. You put the armor down on maybe on top of my bedroll or something, and now I gotta move your heavy armor. <laughs> oh. That's a pet peeve. The That's other awesome. pet peeve I have is people that use really big words all the time and say absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Very exemplary. Yeah. Those are my pet peeves. I, I concomitantly agree with you. We're <laughs> <laughs> boring. Is, is, uh, is, is, this, is this a little bit of personal? No. <laughs> Just, no. I gotta load the car for this week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you this joke I saw. I know it's so funny, but it will take you off this <laughs> Okay, um, starting out, uh, Boren, if I recall correctly, <coughs> you are outside. I am. I'm out in, I'm out in the alley Describe trying to, to catch where you are. What are you doing? Uh, um, so, headed out the front door there, and I'm just kind of, I guess kind of leaning up against the wall, like adjacent to that entranceway where they kind of came in. Kind of trying to, I guess, somewhat keeping an eye out, but right now I'm rested. I'm So you're against the doorway so, uh, that you came out of? Like right. the opposite wall, because it was like opposite. an alleyway. Okay, almost so. like where I'm at. <laughs> okay. That's right. what I'm so imagine my, yeah, almost like imagine my back being more against the wall, right? So I'm kind of keeping an eye in both directions to see what's going on, but I, I'm, what I'm hoping to do is just kind of pop a squat and just kind of take a rest. You know what I mean? Just like I'm squatting down on the ground or I'm like leaning oh, up okay. against the wall. Okay. just kind of taking a rest because I'm pretty battered. Like I'm pretty beaten up right now. Okay. You're standing on, uh, it's a very narrow street outside. It's it's not an alley per se. Mm. Um, the buildings on either side of you are whitewashed buildings like you've seen in the rest of, of Sagut. There are passers-by and they seem to avoid eye contact with you. And they kind of give you a very wide berth around you. I don't know that you would, Borinth would do this, but if you were to look down at yourself, you see that you're covered with blood. Right. Yeah. Good. I, I, and again, I don't know that Borinth would even, <coughs> would he even necessarily <coughs> notice that. I think he would notice, but he wouldn't care. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Kind of. Back to Gundrick Kavaxal. Uh, <coughs> Gundrick, uh, where are you and what are you doing? What time is it? It is call it the beginning of the and uh, beginning of evening twilight. It's that period where the sun has gone below the horizon, but it is not dark yet. I'm going to wait like an hour until it is dark, and I'm going to go to the address in the book. Okay, you're in the middle of the city. The, the streets are whitewashed. There are passersby. There. Are seem to be ignoring you. You're in the fine clothes that you had uh, picked up from before, if I recall correctly. And uh, you are you just left the Templar Tavern and you're wandering around the streets. You see a lot of other individuals in fine clothing going out for the night, going out to uh, various places. The plazas are still busy. Not as busy as they were during the day, but it's a different type of busy, a different type of customers. What have you. Okay. And back with the rest of the party. Inside the building itself, what are you doing? Mattias, where are you? I am currently uh, in the main room. Have it, well, no, we, had just, we left the building already to move towards the inn. No, no, we never left. I think you were in the building. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not trying to put you in a position. I think you were in the building. You had just spoken to the, the girl in the bedroom. The guard. 
the guard. Yes. Yeah. No, he no, no, he did go. We with finished the, girl, the session right. with the girl saying that the guard was gonna tell them about her father. Yes, but that's in that I mean. room with you is who? <coughs> no one. Side room? Yes. I don't think I'm there. So it's just him and the girl. And the girl. Okay, just yeah. you and the girl. Yeah. Okay, I sent you a an email with an image. Open that email at this time, read it, but do not say anything until I come back to you. Okie doke. Acknowledge. Roger. Yep. I hear you. Something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming back to the rest of the players. You're out in the other room with the guard. What are you doing? Um, so it's it's me, Kip, and Shalom, right? And that's mm -hmm. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. And, um, and the guard. The gar and oh, Sunita oh, and so, so, Umbriel. Oh, I, I forgot okay. all about them. And the wolf. And, and the, the wolf. wolf. Yes. And is Charlie here? Sure. Yeah, and Charlie. Charlie uh, hangs out with Simonini. You're inside the small residence. There are bodies scattered about the floor. I'm not exactly sure that's where they were, but you can see there are bodies uh, scattered about the floor, slowly bleeding out, coating the floor with a thick, sticky blood. Sinew oh. bits of flesh and bone mixed <coughs> with the blood uh, are scattered about the floor, leaving viscous goo in large areas. What are you doing? I'm gonna help the guard organize the body so he can get rid of them. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do the last rites for the lady. Okay. You can see he's feeling a little bit worse for wear. I mean, he's he was knocked unconscious. You you know that. Mm -hmm. His nose has been lopped off. Yes. Uh, he was brought back, but I think he's I at you one heal him a little bit? hit point. I healed him for like 15. Oh, you did? Yeah. He's at 15? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's or, at 15. Or, yeah, 15. He's got more health than me. He's got more health than me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's, uh, he's not doing terrifically well. Okay. So he's starting to organize the bodies, and what else are you doing? I know. Uh, I'm going to help him because he doesn't look too good, right? So Not really. And... I'm gonna leave the lady. I'm gonna kind of uh, can't remember the word. Make her more presentable, so I can give her the last rites. Okay. As a because I, I'm still a man of the cloth, so I understand. I, I can do so it. you carefully roll her over and put her arms across in a very dignified manner across her body trying to make her look give some almost sense. as though she was at peace with what had happened mm -hmm. you pull gently pull her her garment up around her neck where her massive grotesque gash is in her in her throat i guess and if one of the the, the bodies has uh, Would you hand that to Walter, please? Would you hand that to Kim, please? I'm listening. Um, something that I can wrap around her neck so it doesn't show. You look around the room and you see a table with some food and some uh, a couple large cloth-like napkins. They're not ornate in any mm -hmm. way, shape, or form, but they're like knitted linen that you could go over and you think might be able to. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna try cleaning her face and all of that, and I'll go you find to... a pitcher of water also on the table in a, in a ceramic, mm -hmm. uh, very basic water pitcher. So uh, I want to go to Matthias in the room and ask him. Okay, you start to head toward Matthias. Uh, what is everybody else doing? I'm gonna go. Like, get... Am I? Am I there? No, you're you right. are in the. You, oh, somehow you was. walk. You, Borinth, you see Balder walk past you. He walks into the door and he walks into the room. I was going to say, don't go in there. And he suddenly sees this icky goo. Yes, you're right. <laughs> I'm human, okay? <laughs> That's fine. He <laughs> wrote a song about that. Anyway, <laughs> I walk in. <laughs> you walk in. And lo and behold, 
Fast forward, there we go. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to start walking towards, um, I guess, show, you're still doing the thing to her body. And hey, guys. Getting ready. So I'll just walk towards Shalom, and I'm just staring at uh, the dead woman. Whatever she may be. The you are going to creepily stare at the dead woman? Yeah, I'm just going to continue to stare at her and walk towards her. Okay, so instead of, if, since he's walking to me, uh, instead of me going there, I'm gonna ask him to ask Matias to bring the girl so she can say her goodbye. Um, and uh, I, I'll just say, um, just just call him. Did you choose to roll a die? Or I chose to fail. Okay, do. Before you, somebody says shouts out to Matias Borinth. As you are standing outside, besides seeing Balder. Suddenly, suddenly, go. Bartender told me I could find you guys here. <laughs> suddenly, go walking by. A woman approaches the house. She looks like she's heading toward that door. She's carrying a large satchel of groceries. She sees you covered with blood. You're uh, either not carrying or oblivious to it. Uh, she sees, she kind of like gives you a wide berth and she's heading toward the front entrance. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, it's the wife. I'm gonna stand up all of a sudden. I'm gonna start to walk towards her. Be like, "Boy, a lady." I'm just gonna start walking up to her, like real. Yeah, I'm gonna try to cut her off before she can get to the doorway. I'm just trying to be as scary as possible. Uh, roll intimidation. <laughs> can I? Advantage. Can I use strength instead of? Yeah. Strength. When you yeah, so you, intimidation, you can choose charisma or strength. Because I'm I'm not That's trying to. Intimidator by words. I'm trying to physically intimidate her. Sure. In this case, so you're threatening her physically. Yeah. Okay. Sure. In this case, sure. So uh, it's it's just a straight strength. Uh, uh, in this case, he is. Uh, are you proficient? It's a fifteen. Yeah. Are you proficient? Um, fifteen. In the strength, yeah, I'm proficient. So oh, so it's a uh, so it's eighteen. So it's an eighteen. In intimidation. Oh, an in intimidation. Yeah, because it's intimidation. Oh no, I won't be. With the strength model. Oh, I am. I have a plus three. So that's 18. But that's based off of my charisma score. No, it's just intimidation. Yeah, no, no. So it would be roll plus proficiency plus strength. 18. Okay. 18. 18. Yeah. But you had advantage. Well, that was what I was thinking of charisma. That's good. Okay. Right. So she, she's trying to get around you, and she's, she motions, she's motions to you to get out of the way. And she seems to be not shaking her head like she did doesn't understand you or something like that. I'm going to come up. I'm going to continue to make a beeline for her. She pushes herself against the wall and tries to... I'm going to, like, lean against the wall so she can't She starts past. shouting at you in, in some indecipherable language. I'm, I'm going to continue to intimidate my there's, presence. There's a small crowd that stops and starts to, to build around, and she starts to go around you to try and get into the house itself. She's not getting in that doorway unless she goes through me. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that to him. Gonna be like, "Lady, you're not coming in this doorway unless you go through me." Um, roll an <clears throat> intelligence check. Uh, intelligence is not too hot. Oh, um, that's a fourteen. Fourteen. You know that she does not understand whatever language you're speaking. Even my physical body language. Okay, but but she didn't understand your verbal. Oh right. Language. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, several other individuals are are pausing and watching what's going on at this moment. We'll come back to you. Back inside, Matthias, you read that card. What are you doing? I assume you did, correct? Uh, yes, I did. The girl is currently asleep, if I recall correctly. She She's in and, to... in and out of sleep. Um, I've got. If I can, I'm going to look behind the head of the bed, if I can, without waking her. The head of the bed, you mean the backboard of the bed? Yes. The backboard of the bed appears to be against the wall. Then can I get onto the floor and look under the bed? Yes. You, you saw the image in the picture, correct? Yes. Okay. You look underneath. Underneath the bed, um, uh, underneath the bed, 
you see a long wooden board, probably about eight feet in length, and maybe a foot wide. It's very dark, hard to make out any other details. The long wooden board is laying on the floor itself. I'm going to try and pull it out uh, as quietly as I can. Okay, uh, roll a stealth check. Stealth? Yes. Uh, Just roll a d20 and tell me what you roll. I, I have a bonus of stealth, so I know, so I know which I have. Okay, um... That's a 17. Okay, you managed to pull the board out from underneath the bed itself. Very quietly, she's sleeping. You have a long wooden board in your hands. What are you, uh, what are you doing with it? Uh, I'm going to examine it and see, if there, see what there is that it might be underneath the bed like that. Now you examine the board, the board looks as though um, while it's very, very bone dry now, it had been damp many a times and sometime dried out. Looking at either end of it, the, the last six inches of either end of the board itself are very dark, as if they had been resting in some type of moisture or something like that on one side, um, on the, the same side at either end. Other than that, it just looks like a long, one foot wide, eight foot long board. Fairly old, well worn. Why would somebody just hide a dried up board underneath a bed? Okay, back with the rest of the party. What are you guys doing? Yes, uh, I will, while they're doing whatever they're doing, I will kind of just without drawing too much attention, just start carving some eyeballs out of these dead bodies. Okay, you go over... <laughs> like in the corner of the room. You, you go over it, <laughs> and the bodies are spread out throughout the room. Just kind of, you know, walking over to one and kind of leaning over, taking an eye. Do you squat and, like, hunch down <laughs> over it? Yeah, you, you get grab a body, and, like, if you, you're gonna help the guy, start dragging and removing eyes. Yeah, With you have a spoon. rusty spoon. Yeah, that's, that's the spork. <laughs> I, I gotta buy a golden eye remover with all this gold. <laughs> like just a special, just scooper. Just like nice no, you just melt just have the gold you already have gold. down. Yeah, exactly. Golden scooper. It's like the ice cream scoop. I'm gonna have one made. Yeah. So um, <laughs> for now, yes, a rusty knife. So as I'm standing over the the woman, I'm gonna look up and just kind of, almost inaudibly, but just say, um, "I missed you too." <laughs> did, did any of us hear that? Or see, uh, uh, yeah, you probably would have. Oh, jeez. Awesome. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> fixing <laughs> the body. <laughs> I've oh, never heard, heard that. Did you... Are, are you feeling me all right, brother? Kip, did you know this one? Uh, okay, back... To, uh, uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're, you're talking I'm talking to Kip. Um, back outside. This woman, she races at you and tries to get slam into you to get around you and to get inside. She's mumbling at you. Stop! I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stop. shove her. I'm gonna stop. shove her to the ground. You push her to the ground. Several individuals around around in the street start yelling at you. I'm gonna take my hammer and I'm gonna knock it three times hard on the door, leading into the rooms that they're in. Okay. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna hit it hard. Three times, boom, 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 like Inside, that. Inside, you guys hear this banging on the outside door. And then I'm going to kind of address the crowd. But you clearly know that it's the, it, the door was accessible. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kind of address the crowd now, and I'm just going to kind of be threatening to the crowd, like, um, um, and it's like, well, what, what are you all, what are you looking at? Is there a problem here? And I'm going to kind of try to address the entire crowd to kind of just try to hold them off at, at the bay door the across the street opens and somebody comes out. Another older woman comes out and she sees the the one woman there and she starts yelling at you and she's pointing at the other woman. 
I mean, I'm gonna yell, get back in your, get back in your home. I said that. And Pete, there's a small crowd gathering around you. I'm gonna You're take guessing uh, about a dozen people so far. Right, I'm gonna take out of my bag my uh, potion of healing, and I'm gonna try to make it look as though I'm like intoxicated, and I drink it, and I'm gonna drink it. Okay. okay. All right, just a regular, straight potion of healing. Understood. That's two D four. That's four. Understood. Mm -hmm. Okay, back inside. Mattias, what are you doing? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Um, I'm going to look under the bed again. Just, just, just from trying to see if there's <clears throat> anything else that can explain what's going on with this. Do an investigation check. Okay, investigation. He's trying to find that monster. See if, uh, investigation. <laughs> so this is... I think the best part about born situation uh, is no one understands. Okay. You you examine. Body it's very dark says, underneath the bed. Say a lot. And you have a sense Everything that if you were to move the bed, like you would probably have better visibility on what you're looking at. And you saw. What did you see on the floor? <clears throat> I saw the board before. But before that, what did you see? The the. The scuff marks where the bed seemed to have been moved. Okay, so you, your brain processes that if you were to move the bed in that manner, that whatever was there you would more clearly see. But there's an outline of something on the floor. Okay, uh, I'm gonna head out of the room and uh, look for. Uh, look and see who's currently in the room with, in okay. the uh, house. Okay, so you head outside of the, the bedroom, and in the room you see uh, Jumnus, the guard, Balder. Balder seems to be bending over some of the bodies that are in a sick, gooey blood. Um, Shalom, Kip, a giant wolf, Simonita, uh, Umbriel, and Charlie. And we'll come back to you. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, so um, so I'm kind of staring at it into nothing, and I'm just going to reach my hand out and just kind of, like, as though I'm, you know, holding something, and just say, uh, um, I, I will go there, and I will avenge her. Are you, like, multi-classing necromancer? Because that's what feels <laughs> like right now. We'll come back to you. What, you managed to get through about, uh, about, roll a, there are... Eight five. Roll a uh, d6 and add two to the die roll. Three. Three. So you managed to get uh, three sets or six sets of eyes in decent condition. Or All six right. eyeballs in decent condition. So I am going to finish that and I'll go to the door because I'm assuming I saw Borinth when I walked in. Yes, you did. So I'm going to go out to Borinth and just kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, you see head out there. Boren's chugging a vial and roll a perception check. I look rough, too. I mean, I was down to 10 hit points. <laughs> uh, 16, 18? You see a large crowd gathering. You instantly see a woman in just in front of him that he's been blocking who has a large load of groceries in her arms in what looks like canvas bags. Um, and she's trying, to, appears, it's pretty evident that she's trying to access that room. Yeah. Off in the distance, you sit, hear the sound of horse hooves coming your way. All right. And there's about a crowd now of about 18 people out there shouting. Okay. Do you speak Turkish? No. No. So they're shouting indecipherably. And gotcha. You don't have a clue what I'm going to say to we need to, we need to get out of here. We need to move. There's what, a crowd building. What is we, going on? What we happened need to get out of here. What happened in there? You can let all those that made the decision to go in there and kill all those people. You can let them explain that to you. But right now, we need to get out of here. All right, so I'm going to run back in and just kind of let everyone know we need to go. Okay, so you get back in. You haven't let anybody know yet. What are you okay. doing, Jonas? Uh, I was standing by Kip, and uh, I was asking him wh whether he knew this woman or what's going on with him. That's what I was asking. And he's just, I guess he's all zoned out. Yeah, so. meanwhile, I was going to do the, the last rites, but... Now you're like, what the? <laughs> now you're scared. Yeah. Mattias, what are you doing? He's just better at speaking to God than you are. Uh, uh, 
I don't know what, what you're gonna, speaking to. Uh, I'm going... Uh, you're in the main I'm, room who, with everybody else. Who's closest to me at the moment? I'm gonna say Shalom at the moment. When you no, first no. step out. Who is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the body of the lady was in the middle, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so the guard... Are you trying Keep. to get the ladies? Uh, I guess that's a little. Uh, yeah, that's it's, not gonna it's not going to work. It's not going to work. A little too obvious with everyone around the middle. I was kind of skirting the edges. <laughs> okay, just so walk you're right probably, up. Push along yeah, I guess the way. Is the I'm going to say one. Kip is the closest one. The crazy one. one. It's the crazy one. Okay. And Kip looks um, like he's engaged in I, something at the moment. I walk over to the nearest grouping and I ask, so are we taking the girl with us or are we not? What'd you do with the board? Yeah. Surely. Yes. Yes. Um, the, I, I put the board uh, against a wall right next to the door. Okay. After I came out. Oh, so it's outside of the room. Yes. It's, it's on the outside of the bedroom. Okay. As you turn and and look outside, you see that the guard sees that you have the board, and he just kind of stares at it for a moment. How long does your spell last? Which spell? What are you so saying to them? Um, Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Um, or, do, can, do I? Oh. So I notice that he stares at. You it. notice it, yes. Uh, I I'm gonna ask him. Do you know what's going on with this? I, I just, I noticed a few strange things, and I found this underneath, uh, one of the furniture pieces. Now I have a question. Go ahead. Is his spell still working? What is his spell? Zone of Truth. Zone of Truth. Last 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Yes. His spell is still working. Um... The guard seems to cross the room and go over and sit down at the dinner table. At the, no, at the table. It's not really. I mean, I guess it's all-purpose table. That would probably put him out of range of the spell. Uh, it's a. Uh, I don't. You don't get the sense that he was feet. consciously doing that, trying to move out of your spell. If that makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm just saying, it, it, it's a. A 15 foot radius, so it's 30 feet across. Walk over and drag the sphere. table back into it. <laughs> yeah, and he just sits sphere. down at the table. And he seems to be staring at the table. Wait, did you come? Did Does you anyone else anything? notice this? <laughs> no, I didn't no, get time no to one else saw it. No. I went out, talked to Morin, came back in. I walk over and try to, try to ask again. I'm sorry if this is difficult, but what is going on with with that? He says... What happened? He yes. says... He seems to be just staring at the table. And he says, uh, Only you understand it, because only you speak Turkish, correct? I speak Turkish. You speak Turkish. You hear him say... Uh, my day. It sucks. Uh, this has been exhausting. What was that sl- second part? This has been exhausting. And that's all he says at the moment. Out in the... St- back to Gundrick. Gundrick, what are you doing? The sun has set. Takes about 45 minutes. From the beginning of EENT to the end of it, it's dark at this time. Uh, where are you going? What are you doing? I'm walking to the address in the book. Okay. You find it. It's on a, a second story flat. It's a small alleyway. There's a few passers by, but it's pretty quiet. Very dark. There's a few lights inside. There's no street lights in this area. The exterior of the buildings are whitewashed and clean. The street is clean, but it's a very, it's not, you can instantly tell that just looking at the structures of the buildings, it's, it's not a more well-to-do or affluent part of the town. Clean, neat, but not more. 
Are there like windows in the building? Yes, there are. You see uh, the, the flat based upon the address is one flight up. There's a set of stairs that go along the outside and then a, a slight balcony to an entranceway. There is a, a window on one side of the door and then just beyond the balcony, there's another window on the other side. How big are the windows? The windows are probably about two feet wide by about two and a half feet high. Not huge glass and such is very expensive for less affluent individuals. So they wouldn't be as big as they might be in a wealthy home. Would I be able to like fit through the window or? It would be a, I mean, I, 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 um, describe your character's physique. I mean, I'm guessing yes, but um, I mean, you'd have to probably break, you might have to break some of the wood away, but it probably wouldn't be like a difficult thing to do. I mean, they're not meant to be, it's not a fortified window, if that makes sense. It's not a, there's no metal frame, it's a wooden frame. The glass is probably relatively inexpensive. You're in Anatolia. The temperature extremes are not massive. It's not necessary for insulation. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm going to climb up the stairs and I try and fit through. Try and fit through the window. Yeah. Okay. You realize right away. So you you climb up the steps. Are you trying to do so stealthily, or are you trying to? I'm just trying to not make any noise. <coughs> okay. So roll a stealth check then. Okay, as you walk up the steps, you hear the, the creaking of the steps themselves. It's dark though. Nobody seems to be giving it even a notice. There's lots of other sounds, and ambient sounds from around the area. You get up to this top, you see the window is slightly ajar, but even without doing a perception check, you realize that the only way you're gonna physically get through that window opening is if you were to take out the frame somehow. If you were to burst through it. I'm going to... The window is slightly ajar. I'm going to put my hand on the frame and cast Eldritch Blast on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, what are you... Are you shooting at anything in particular? I'm just trying to, like, break away the frame, like, okay. sections at a time. You cast the spell and... The whole window and blasts away instantly. You hear a scream from inside. Uh, I go inside. You climb through. Just do a, an acrobatics check with advantage. Damn, John, this went real dark. Oh, with advantage. Real quick. <laughs> uh, 16. 16. You managed to get inside. Fuck, you see a, a, a woman over there. <clears throat> she seemed to have been cleaning something, and she's looking at you terrified. Ah! Ah! I'm just going to walk over, take the book, and start smacking her with it. Okay, rolled hit. <laughs> What's next? Oh, <laughs> snap. <laughs> that <laughs> ball. What did he roll? I had one. one. <laughs> yes. I had one job. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I rolled a natural one. I don't know. And he makes all that he stops and reads the book. <laughs> like rolls it I'm scared. That's good. So wait, no, no. I, I need to make a saving throw first before I am. That's fitting. That's. I mean. Uh. Nope. Uh. Fails the saving throw. Frightened by its intended target. So. I am under the frightened condition. Okay, she's screaming at the top of her lungs at you. Just start screaming too. <laughs> we both just scare each other. <laughs> Do it, you gotta scream back. You gotta scream I make back. a saving throw at the beginning of each of my turns. Gunji, you gotta okay, scream back. back to you. you gotta scream back. You gotta scream back. She's screaming. Yeah, I, I totally missed. We're just scaring each other. I didn't know anyone was in here. <laughs> Boy, wait, wait, you think if you if you get arrested, the they're gonna give you the same deal loop? they gave okay, you? Okay, I'm gonna pass no. the description around of the board okay, around that you're leaned up against the outside <clears throat> wall. So those who are in the room see this board, okay? And on that note, I'm gonna be right back while you mull over your plan. The crowd is building louder now. It's about 24 people outside. Okay, I should be right back. 
I mean, no one natural even knows yet. one. I could probably, yeah, I could that. probably mow my way through them if I really needed to. I'm not. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. It was. It be. could not have been like, any better. I like how that happens. I like how that happens way more than not. Like, I'm seventy percent, and it doesn't work. Convinced that this die is weighted. Uh, I'm dead I serious. Know. I honestly don't think that this die is weighted. Nah, you're good. You're good. Uh, it's just something that's held just, across. Like, that couldn't work out like any any more. So what is this? Like poetic or like a water storyline basis. I don't know. Not. It's it's it seems like it's been held like it's held across something. Two ends of dam, and it's been wet before. <laughs> I don't know. It's eight foot long. It looks like something that would bridge a gap between. I don't know what it is. Mm. Okay, so Mattias, what are you doing? You're standing there. She, the woman uh, outside. Well, yeah. Go ahead. I uh, walk over to Jomnus and say, "We should get the girl." I yes. Go. Uh, can you can you grab her? Tell her. Tell her we'll take her somewhere safe, and then everything is going to be okay. Uh, I will. I will bring her out. I would ask you to keep an eye on her for oh, for a moment, though. I need to check something. Okay. Yes, take so the okay. two of you go into the I'll room. For my sure. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll so go. the yeah. two of you go into the room at the moment, and which it's this figure, correct? Right. Okay, you're both in the room. Balder, out, Chaos. Borinth rather, outside with you. There's about a ha about two dozen individuals in the darkness. They're yelling and screaming at you, and you're not moving from the door, correct? No, I'm going to take. Uh, oh, sorry, go. <coughs> I'm going to take my hammer. I'm going to slam it again three times on the door. Just boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to uh, reach into my pouch, and I have a couple pieces of gold. I'm going to grab a handful of gold, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to go to the lady. I'm just going to point and be like. Get out of here now. I'm going to throw some gold on the ground and I'm going to take the rest of the gold that I have, the 236 pieces of gold, and I'm throwing it into the crowd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you mean my gold? Bus fare. No, the gold no. that we got from that yeah, room. That would be my gold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking him, throwing okay, I'm trying to create chaos. Not, um, no, I know. He's more of a thief than our I'm just persuasion. trying to create like chaos. Right, right. Well, you know what I mean? Persuasion check with advantage. This is what happens when you give the barbarian the gold. <laughs> what am I? What am I rolling for? Persuasion I'm just check with doing the <laughs> character stuff. I'm like, oh, I have to hold it, and I almost put two. Mm, no, persuasion is fourteen. 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 <laughs> fourteen. Several of the individuals will take off uh, running, <laughs> and they see them scrambling for the gold. They're all muttering at, at, at each at each other. Others, it's I dark now, so they really couldn't see. My gold. Some right. in the back couldn't tell what was going right. on. The woman in front of you, an entire she hears the clinking gold. of coins on the ground as she's torn that. between her groceries and, and looking down, and she doesn't, she doesn't fully understand. You can see that, like in the dark, even in the darkness, the expression on her face is, "What's going on?" Her, it seems to be like, "I, I, I don't understand gold." To stop me from going into my. But I'm trying to like, I'm just like go, like I'm just like telling her like. Like get out of here! Like using my body to as much as you're like take it and get out of here! Like I'm, I, I know that she doesn't understand me. You hear the sound of hooves coming, to, and even oh, above great. the crowd, you can see individuals riding on horses coming toward you, coming okay. toward the crowd, and they're starting to say, "Astaf tushafa." Can I tell how many other are? Can I tell how many? You see two mounted. Okay. But you suspect you see some. Would appear to be halberds below them. Okay. okay. So I. So, <laughs> but is there? Okay. But uh, I'm I sorry. So them? where they're coming from is where all is the people are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but where where they're coming through is where I, all the people were. I threw all the gold. The people are kind of ready to answer. Pretty much round and kind of like an arc. Oh, so they're coming from the. They're coming from one direction. I'm sorry. Oh, so they're not coming from the same direction. The horses are not coming from the same direction as the crowd. There's some no. some of the crowd is here, and the crowd kind of wraps it's a around. Semi okay. And so would they be in. listening to them, even because there's gold uh, scattered all over the place? Not so like this second. Okay. Stuff. Okay. It's not. I'm just like wondering if they're partying. Or not. Just, you okay. just your sense. You're I mean, you're a fighter. You can see these figures mounted, even in yeah. the dim light, that are not clearly. They're either giants, right? Yeah. Or yeah. They're mounted on something. <laughs> okay. And you've ridden horses long right. enough to know that. Yeah. They're not giants. Okay. If they are giants, they're very skinny giants. They right. might be giants. They might be giants. <laughs> they're giant legs, very nice. and then their torsos and heads are right. normal size. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
There might be giants. Go get them. Let out mine. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, so I guess my arm's still up in the air, and I'm just going to say, don't go. Um, and then just kind of drop my arm and kind of, I guess, I guess what would appear to be snapping out of it. Um, and then just look around, and I'm not sure who I, who I, who's still in the room. I'm, I'm Me. right next to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm waiting to see if you're tr- going to try to do something to the body. Yeah. No, no, I'm not doing anything to the body. I, um, I guess if you look closely, like, when I, when I, looks I, like I've been crying. When I reach the conclusion that I'm he's gonna, not going to try anything people. with the body, I'm going to do the last round. Okay. okay. So while that is I going on, Mattias and you manage <laughs> to to gather those eyes and without any problem. And what are you doing? Well, he came, he so, he came well, met me yeah. at the door. Oh, that's right. So you're outside came with back him? In. No, I came back in. You came back in. As you're as back as in. I got. So I am going to run past uh, Kip. You don't need to run. Well, but well I'm gonna, it's, it's, if he wants to run, shambles. he can run right I'm now. I'm going to go past yeah. Kip. Do what you want to do. Bang on the door where Jumnus and uh, Mattias okay. went. Jumnus, Balder, and Mattias are in the small room where the the girl is sleeping on the bed. She seems to be kind of sh- shuddering. She's like in and out of sleep. Yeah. I'm just going to bang on the door and say, listen, guys, I don't know what went down here, but Borinth has got his hands full outside. There's guards coming. There's some women screaming. We need to get out of here right now. And I'm going to turn to him and say, we need answers first. Well, you're well this isn't going to look. This oh, is I thought he was just no, outside I didn't go, the door. I didn't go yeah. okay. I'm just banging yeah, okay. on the door. So I didn't go in there. You turned. Okay, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You can turn. If I, if I, I want them no, to hear can, me okay. too. I didn't go in. Sure. There. Okay. But you so did. So I'm just gonna okay. say. I'm just gonna say. Uh, this is not gonna look good. <laughs> the cards are coming. We need to go. Right, if you're yes, taking you that woman. With? Let's go. Um, <coughs> I, I say. I, t- I say. Jonas, can you get the girl? Yes. And I. Uh, I'm gonna cast tongues on myself so I can speak her language. Okay. And I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. She's up on the bed. I'm yes, gonna. She is. I'm gonna say to her, uh, "Hey, uh, what, what's your name?" Mm, uh, <coughs> uh, my name is Duran. Duran to oh, use it. Oh, yeah. no. Just one or Duran? Be so bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Tonight say, is music. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Duran. All right, Duran. Right, Duran. 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 Not Duran. You have to lift your feet like when you say Duran. I'm going to say Duran. All right, Duran. Duran. My name is Jonas, uh, and uh, uh, I know things have been crazy, and I'm really sorry that uh, everything's been uh, the way it has been, but we're going to take you somewhere safe, and everything's going to be okay. What's going on? This is going to be she so says bad. Uh, I, well, honestly, I don't know, but we're going we're gonna to get somewhere where everything is calm and everything is going to be Roll a check with advantage. With advantage, Ugh, that's not good. Um, I'm gonna roll one more time with the inspiration. Okay. So I just want to get rid of these. Uh, that's a 14. Okay. She sits up in the bed and she kind of reaches out to you. She goes, "No, no one's gonna hurt me, are they?" No, no, of course not. I'm, I'm gonna make sure that you're gonna be okay. Nothing is, nothing's gonna happen to you. Everybody, read this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I. She, uh, Try to pick her up, I guess. Oh, and she's small like, enough you can pick her up with okay. very very she probably weighs maybe sixty pounds. Okay. At the moment. Okay. Six times six okay. Times you managed to pick okay. her up. What are you doing? Are you taking her out of the room? Uh, uh, I'm gonna so stay right there for five. the moment. I'm gonna say what are you doing? I think we need to go. Um I just knowing that ta- the no, time is becoming roll, short, I just pull the bed back uh, in the way that the uh, marks seem to indicate. Roll an investigation check with advantage. Okay. Uh, 19. 19. The floor clearly looks like stone, but examining it, you can distinct, distinctly make out what appears to be a horizontal door in the floor. Save, take half damage. Targets that fail, lost in the fog, blinded. I open it. You reach down. It's hard to find a lip. Eventually, your fingers find a lip underneath the edge of the stone, and you try to pull, and you have resistance against you. Okay. You feel as though it's locked. Um, 
I say, I, I assume that we can't investigate further into this. Who do you say that to? So, You're not saying uh, it to me, you're saying it to them? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just, is it best that we should just go? Can, can I see this door? You're holding the girl at the door. You see sure. Matty has pulled his bed aside. Uh -huh. He, You glance down and he, there were scrape marks along the floor as he did so that you notice. And uh, as he's pulling it back, they, ooh, sorry, let's see what we've got now. Uh, <laughs> as we, as, as you, as he noticed okay. you pull it back and there distinctly on the floor, uh, you're there. Who's there? Uh, I'm not okay. Guys, uh, leave it uh, out. Your side the there is just uh, the truth. Distinctly there on the floor. You can't make it out quite as clearly, but when you see him try to lift something, then mm -hmm. the edges of it become slightly more evident, if that makes so sense. So it looks like a trap door. Well, I didn't say a trap door. I right. said a well, door. It looks like a secret door. Yeah, in I'm the... listening to you as you talk. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to... Matty, Matty is, what you, is, is this a way out, do you think? I honestly don't know. All I know is that there was a damp board that was underneath the bed, wet at the ends, repeatedly dried in the middle. Okay. And I pull aside this bed, and this is here. Okay, I think well, let's let's ask this dude what this is, and maybe we can get out this way. And I think if right. so, we'll take. Who's the board. out in the other room? Uh, so I am. It's mo most of us <coughs> except for Bori. Bori seems to Okay. Outside. Yeah. Um. You take a, do a perception check. Well, that's pretty good. Um, perception. So that's a 15. Okay. You see the crowd around you. They're picking up the gold. They seem to have picked up most of it. Most of them are standing there as if, almost like, is there more coming? Or <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm afraid to leave because I don't want to be the fool who turned it down. And at the same time, the guys with the horses are kind of pushing their way slowly through. They seem that they, you get the impression just glancing up at them that they have the sense that things perhaps have calmed down and so they're not being as vigilant and pushing through at the same time. Okay. You also see probably about five halberds raised up on either side of them. Off to your okay. right hand side, you catch a glimpse of um, six individuals who look almost like thugs who were pushing through the crowd saw you and then stopped. And they're kind of like slowly moving back. Okay. Not like out of fear, but out of like your perception says to you almost they didn't anticipate this. Okay. What are you doing? Um, I'm still standing by the door. I don't know. I don't know what's going on inside the room. I just, um, what is the lady doing in front of me? That's down on the that I She's pushed like, over and the goal. Let me in. She seems to be motioning. Let me in. Yeah. I'm gonna shake her. I'm gonna sh kind of shake my head at her and and kind of try to get her to kind of shove off. You have. Is your weapon in your my weapon's physically? Not out. Oh, I never not, took my weapon you, out. How do you secure I'm, it? It's I'm not imagining out. I can somehow. I mean, I don't carry it around everywhere I go, right? Out. I don't know. You tell me. No, I can imagine that I can. I can imagine like me. I kind of put it. Like I have a way of harnessing it behind me. Okay, or something. so you have like this, almost like a. I'm gonna Ooh, say for now, and you tell me if it's different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you have almost like an archer's uh, pouch, if you will, mm -hmm. that you slide it into, and it kind of like yeah. sits in there with like a, like a, a leather almost, yeah. ring or knotted ring, so it will sit in about halfway down. Right. Okay. Sounds Change right. your mind. No, that's your perfect. Mind. That's perfect. That's, that's what it is right now. Okay, so it slid back in there right now. It's doesn't take an action to pull it out. It's just a free action. Mm -hmm. So, but it's back there right now, and your hands are free. Okay, what are you doing? You're in the room. Eh, she's she starts to back off. It's your turn. Beginning of my turn, I get to repeat the saving throw. Okay. On the call her. He's so sweet. Two. Natural two. We're so right now, in yeah. thirteen rounds, is gonna be able to shake the scare off. <laughs> Frank can. Uh, she backed off. I can't move any closer because I'm frightened. 
<laughs> this is bad. You could spend some of those things. Please. So you can't attack me right now? I can't move closer. Okay, right. Okay. I assume she backed out of my... She definitely backed out of my... Does that mean I could have taken an attack of opportunity? Um, no, you're frightened. You're frightened. Really? You were going to say those circumstances. To... You guys were just... Things Ask happened so fast. She's still screaming, basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys are still screaming at each other. Second round. Second round. She continues to back into a corner. She pulls a large, what looks like, a, not a table, but almost like a part of a hoosier in front of herself and starts to cower below it. Your turn. Come on. She continues to scream her head can off. Can I throw the book at her? <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, third round. Okay, roll. Uh, oh my god, I'm off by one. Wait, do you know what the save is? 15. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The high and so third round, she continues to scream. She pulls this closer, and she's almost like barricading herself in. She reaches up and grabs something. It looks like a pot on the top of it, and she ducks down below. I give up. I she's screaming at the top of her lungs. Can I have used this for the fourth round? Here comes the flow. Sure. Here yeah. comes the flow of inspiration. You, you there choose when you use these, not me. You understand that? I'm not going to tell you to use them. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I. Okay, so I saved that time, so I'm no longer frightened. So she's now barricaded herself. Yes. Wow, she's human. <laughs> 30 seconds of you screaming, and then she just like hides. I know. And, like builds an entire <laughs> fort of stuff. 12. It's like Fortnite. <laughs> so no boys it's been 24 seconds. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to run over to her then and start trying to. Okay, okay. so you gotta do an acrobatics check with advantage to get over the Hoosier and like you're still trying to hit her? Yeah. Okay, you, to get over the Hoosier and, and try and hit, hit her, you've gotta just do an acrobatics check with advantage. You can't even buy her dinner yet. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. You manage, you like stumble, your leg gets caught, your pant leg gets caught on the edge of the Hoosier door, no, and it those. rips open, exposing <laughs> your thigh, but, and it kind of like gives you a slight gash, nothing damaging down the, but down the inside, but you manage to get over the top of it, and you're like, ah, oh, that hurt, that's going to hurt tomorrow, and you're over the top of the Hoosier. I'm hitting her with the book. Okay, roll to hit. This is this is yours, I think. Uh, what do I add? Just tell me what you roll, okay. or tell me what you, you just do your normal. <laughs> say it's a bludgeoning <laughs> hit, so it would be strength plus. No, it's an improvised weapon. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's just five minus one, so that's a four total. Four to hit. Yes. So you swing the book past her and it swings way past her. Okay, and just misses. She's screaming and she reaches up and she swings at you with the, with this. She, you don't get the sense that she's really trying to hit you. She's more just trying to like keep you away type thing. She's just swinging away with the pot. And this pot goes flailing past you and just misses your left arm. We'll come back to you. Borenth, anything going new going on outside? I'm waiting for a reaction from them. I'm, okay. I, I'm holding steady at that door. The, ground, the crowd starts to get now starting to get slightly more antsier and the guards have pushed a little bit closer and they're shouting something towards your general direction. It's clearly not understandable. They're saying, Kadina Terkat. Kadina Terkat. Well, I'm just going to try to look confused and just. Uh, nothing that I can do. I mean, so they're clearly, I'm holding my, you, I'm holding you, my ground. You know that they're shouting at you. Out of the corner of your eye, you see the six individuals over the side. They seem to have started to pull back into the crowd, and then they stopped. You must channel your inner gun trick. Back inside. What are you guys doing? I'm holding. Um, I'm going to... Uh, we we got to go out into the day. main room, and we're going to... I talk to the, the dude, the guard. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll walk out of the room. <laughs> and I'll say to the guard, where does that door lead to? How do we get it open? He's just staring at the table. I'm going to draw a sword, walk over, and kind of throw him to the ground with my sword to his throat. Mm, okay. 
Uh, do you speak Turkish? I do not. Okay. Uh, are you there with him, Reiner? Matthias? Uh, no, but he's speaking. Yeah, so not, I speak everyone. Well, oh, you do speak no, I'm I speak still tongues. trying to open the door. I'm sorry? I'm still trying to open the door. Oh, you're inside the small room. Okay, but you're speaking in tongues. He says, Benin, Benin, that's what you hear. Did he speak common last time? He did. Okay. He does speak okay, adventurers. Okay, thank you. Fair he enough. says to you, there is nothing more you can do to me. Uh, that's uh, probably not true, as my friend the bow here can attest to. I'm How do we get through there? I'm going to press a little harder. And then I'm going to say to everybody else, there's a there's a door in there. This is our way out. You're pressing with what? My, this, my sword. Against what? His throat. Oh, so you came around him with this. Yeah, I, I just because he's sitting at the table, right? <laughs> yes. So I just came and I grabbed him and I threw him to the ground, or I tried to anyway, um, and put my sword up against his throat. He reaches over and he just grabs a spoon, a large wooden ladle, as if he's about to eat with it. He just starts to you down. Make the wolf go on him. <laughs> um, Radius, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going. To, I'm going to see if there is some way that I could uh, get get the get the door get the lock to open. Uh, while while they're outside, just in case, just to, just be so that we can get it out sooner. Roll a perception check. <laughs> okay, with perception. advantage. With advantage. That has a natural twenty. Trap door, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I see a natural that. twenty. You you're pretty confident that you should probably enlist somebody like Shalom's efforts um, with this. This is probably beyond your skill level. Unless you were to okay. start sma unless you want to start bashing through stone. No. Uh, okay. Um, I head out to the main room and say, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, I'm thinking uh, that Shalom. Unless there's somebody else I should know about. Yeah. Uh, I'm there. Father is there too. Yeah. So we can. Okay. But on the way inside, I want to grab the the plank. It's huge. I mean, well, it's eight feet long, one foot wide, probably yes. about. At least three quarter inch, head if head not head. inch thick. It's an not a small head. board that you just like. An eight foot yeah, no, but, but he well, he brought it from the the room, so I can bring it back. Yeah. Right? Oh, absolutely. But just know that it's not like something you just like. Uh, and I, 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 I know, I know. <laughs> but <laughs> it's my understanding that it the law, the the plank was under the bed, and the trapdoor was under he the holds bed. He the wrong way. He's getting stuck on the door. <laughs> so isn't that a way for us to use? The I, plank? Yeah, I think it's to open forward. the door. Okay. Not to open. I don't know about opening the door, but um, go ahead. No, that was the, that was the end of that thought. Okay. So um, the rest of you outside, the the crowd starts pressing in ever so slightly. The individuals in the background, the horses are coming a little bit closer. They're saying, um, um, Lucen, says now Lucen says now how close are they to me? Are they like right on top probably, of me? Probably. <clears throat> they push through the crowd. They're probably about here by now. Crap. They're not. They don't seem to be waving any <clears throat> weapons at you or anything. Mm -hmm. They see that your hands appear to be clear, correct? Yeah. 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 My hands They're are clear. Currently not in the state of those minis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Nice. Am I able to go outside to kind of check on boy? Sure, you can go back outside. <laughs> Bring him inside. That's yeah, I'm doing. I was gonna say. You look outside. There is an the army of gods. And I'm gonna try to unlock the. Okay. Using my okay. Roll. Um, it's dex. Dex, right? Fifth stools. Dex plus fifth. No, I roll I've a been. perception check with advantage, I mean, or an investigation, whichever is better for you as a thief. Natural 20. Oof. Whoa. You're very confident that it's also a trap. So I'm gonna first remove 
the trap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as he's with the things to his right. Yeah. Yep. Understood. Dex that would be. Efficiency. That's uh, 17. Okay. In the corner, you find a small opening. You manage to slip your thieves' tool right into this tiny, tiny opening. And it seem, you seem to hear a click of a mechanism. And you have a sense that that disabled something that would have triggered something else. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna double sh- check to see if there's another one. <laughs> okay. And then unlock the. Okay, do an investigation check with advantage. Or whatever a thief would. Oh, wow. 16. 16. You're com- you feel confident that there's not another one. So I'm gonna unlock it now. Okay. 16. Okay. You managed to unlock it. It kind of clicks and then. You reach under it, there's an edge of a stone that clearly looks like it had been carved. You lift it up and somebody had very neatly shaved these stones to try and on top, to make them fit on top of a board. And you're able to lift it up and it's almost as though it's a door lifting up. And below you see what is very clearly a tunnel entrance. There's this dark, you smell that damp, musty smell sort of rises from it, you're suddenly hit with that cool air that Mm -hmm. comes from from a something descending underground. There's this distinct smell of humid air readily evident. Okay. And it seems to descend kind of meandering down into a a cavernous, like not a Mm man-made entranceway, but a kind of a natural descending and turning kind of cavern entrance that you, if you were to go down it, you'd have to go foot first. I guess you could go head first. It would be really awkward. <laughs> but, but, you, but if you wanted to maintain your balance, you'd probably have to go foot first and pretty much kind of single file down this long meandering tunnel. Okay. And so I... I just give up Okay, let's pause back. there. Okay. Back out in the other room. Okay. You come inside or rather, well, you yeah, go yeah, outside. outside. You're I, confronted I, with Boulder. Yeah, I go outside. Uh, Borant, they think uh, they believe they found a way out. We can get out through the building, but come back in and bring that woman. <laughs> okay. Um, I like reach out and help the lady up that the packages. It was on the that was. She looks up at you in <laughs> astonishment. I help her up to her feet and I grab her bags and then I pull her in through the doorway. Okay. As soon as you get her in, just keep her quiet. Jim. <laughs> knock her out. Put oh. her inside, knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, you're not there. Okay, is there, so you. Is there. Uh, so if he's going to bring her in, is so, there a way to bar these doors from the inside? Is there a way to lock them? Well, the same way you opened it, you knew that there was a large. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do like that. A, not, a, open it. not a lock, <laughs> a bar. It's a crude, inexpensive. Big, yeah. yeah, bar. Kind oh, of thing. It's kind of like a bar that okay. falls into. Yeah. So I'm going to make a, sure to. A clevis, yeah, we're going to board it. If you will, a wooden clevis. Okay. Is that the right term? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to make sure to just bar that so they can't open the door. There's and two sets of doors. So we're going to go through the first set of door, close it down, and then go to the second only set of doors. the door. outside set has it. Has a, oh, okay. okay. Has a lock on it per se. It's more, like, you get the impression that's kind of like um, what you would call a modern day mudroom, if you will, or something like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. People put their dirty clothes. In, okay. In okay, yeah. You, so, so that, that is, they don't that mess is up locked. the inside of their house. So. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, so that is locked. That's where you guys are. Jumness, and uh, <laughs> we're going to need to build. We need a bigger, heavier tail. <laughs> Oh, I in the next them. studio, I we'll get some. I like it though. I'll hold. start making it. You start making it. Oh, you're gonna hold you to that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have the plans. I have to bring it here. Piece by piece and glue it Sorry, Matthias. <laughs> Filmed live before a studio audience. There you go, Matthias. I'm uh, not Matthias. Um, uh, Kip and Jumnus. What are you guys doing? Um, so I guess it's so clearly. I can. So you uh, have your. I can knife tell that he's like this. not gonna answer no matter what I say. Uh, well, I mean, you know, never say never. Okay, yeah. Uh, but... Oh, he's a killer. I have Jumnus talk to him after. Yeah. 
true. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I don't think he's gonna get us anywhere, Kip. Yeah, I, I'm gonna kind of just like growl at him and just say, um, uh, what was your relation to this woman? Okay, what are you doing? Um, I'm pretty much, I don't think this guy's gonna do anything or help us, and I don't care what happens to him at this point, so. Um, I was gonna go bring Duran over to um, to Simonita and Embryo in the corner. Okay. And I was gonna say, Simonita, this is Duran. Duran, this is this is Simonita, and this is. Uh, and I'm gonna kind of kneel down a little bit. And I'm gonna say, this is my best friend Charlie. He's a good boy. They're gonna okay. they're gonna Roll stay with you. Roll a persuasion check with advantage and add uh, plus uh, four to it. I know that's kind of three point five ish, but do it anyway. Uh, Twelve, sixteen. Okay. Um, Charlie leaps up, starts licking her. Sinmanita comes over and starts brushing her hair, but not like with a brush, but like just kind of mm -hmm. caressing almost. And Embryo is, is kind of doesn't seem like the most affectionate kind of person. Doesn't really understand. She seems kind of disoriented in mm -hmm. this kind of situation. But Simonita seems to fall right into it and starts, gets the message right away and tries to help out. Okay. The girl calm. Clearly it's very disturbing. You can see her kind of glancing about. There's bodies everywhere. There's pools of blood everywhere. And yeah. large pools of blood. And not only pools of blood, but Body pieces and everything. I'm assuming else. I would have been trying to shield her as much as possible okay. while Understood. I was holding her. Understood. And, yeah. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I know it's not going to be it's completely not a, possible. <laughs> it's not a. You know, you're not going into. Uh, Does she notice a, this date of her mother? <laughs> it's either it's just an eyeball with a number. Of her mother. I'm, I'm not say that, she did not <laughs> yet. I mean, she saw her. Before. I like that. Every time. It oh, oh, I see. Since you number. tried to care yeah, for her, that, uh, she did not. She has not yet. She. Jumnus was trying to shield her from this. I don't think she necessarily wanted to look at things either. Does anything? Yeah, it's no, not no something problem. you necessarily want to embrace at mm -hmm. that point. Okay, back with Gundrick. You're swinging away with this book. Whoosh! You're leaning over. Your leg is partially caught on this Hoosier, <laughs> and you're, this woman is swinging a pot up at you. Whoosh, whoosh. What are you doing? I need to spell oh, really fast. Okay. Well, you're checking. Something. Go ahead, do that. By all means, we're going to come back to um, I'm up in the room. We have to get out of here. We have to get out of here now. The guards are at the door. We need to go. Okay. And I'm I'm dragging this lady in the room, and she's going to see a whole bunch of dead bodies laying on this floor in this okay. room. Okay, so she, you do drag her into the main room? Yeah. She screams at the top of her lungs. Who's near? You're right next to the guard. Yes. Roll a perception check with advantage. She screams at the top of her lungs. A natural twenty. Clearly, all of the, all of the, uh, the groceries instantly drop on the ground. Where are you looking at this moment? Uh, oh, uh, just, I'm just gonna keep looking at the guard. Okay. The guard. He, he seems to like. Uh, he see, he sees the woman, <laughs> and he. He just takes the spoon and he like jams it into a wedge of the table, and he's just like, ay, ay, ay. "Okay, we'll come back to that." What, uh, what are you doing? Um, or oh, you're over there in the corner. You just came in. You just came in. And I assume it, that's enough time for me to go outside and <laughs> tell the trap door is open. Okay, so you you walk out into the hall and you say so to the group, rooms. "God has provided. The door is open." Do they know that there was a door? <coughs> A lot of us do. Okay. Uh, yeah, Gemma's yeah, talking. Yeah, I know. Did room. you figure out what you're doing? Gemma said, uh, this probably doesn't work on books, so I'm just going to swing it again. Okay. <laughs> what was your intent? Just curious. Should they, they? <laughs> Should they, they? I love it. Okay. <laughs> roll, roll, roll the hit. Hey, 17. 17. Schwack. Do your damage. What's the damage for a book? Uh, we're gonna call it one no, Shilele Shile Shile gives you a damage. No, he couldn't use that. He couldn't use it. Oh, we're gonna, they, they may say you can use charisma instead of strength to hit. Something. Yeah, yeah, but you couldn't use that. 1d4 so. plus your strength. There you go. So minus my strength, mm -hmm. basically. Is it minus? Yeah. <laughs> I have a minus one strength. Okay. Two. So two damage. Wow. <laughs> you smack her. You managed to hit her. 
No, she had she lifted up her foot to try and bizarrely yeah. try and oh, block I, your I, blow. Just, just She's like <laughs> cowering down low, and you slammed into her foot. And as you did, you heard a bone crack <laughs> as you're hitting her with it with this book. You're round. Oh, I'll do it again then. <laughs> I mean, I was told to do this, so natural twenty. Hey. Okay, roll a, she roll a critical crack. What if then it's die because D eight. Yeah, but like didn't. Be by but it's all all it's all right, right. Right. It's like yeah. Maximum damage. So that means three total. Okay. <laughs> three more points of damage. Slam into her. She reaches up with her right hand and you try to block it. She tries to block it and you slam into her hand and you hear another bit of bone break and she falls unconscious. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. You know, I was told to do this though. So keep him. No, I was told to make sure that she sees the guards that are supposed to come beat we'll me. We'll come right back to you. Okay, back at the rest of the group. We need to get out of here now. So um, you asked me to roll perception. Is, I rolled a 20. Uh, Did I see anything? Or God was that just him standing at the table? <coughs> Where is this door? door? Right here. Where is this door? Let's go. Right the guards are at the door yes. now. We're moving. And I... It doesn't matter at this point. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm, ask, I, I'm gonna ask... Balder to carry the, the the plank. We might need that. The what? The, the plank. plank. The board. Oh, the, board. the plank. Okay. Yeah. We might need that. Okay. And I want I want to be the last what one is... to go through the door so I can lock it. What does this piece of wood have to do with anything? We might need that. All right. I'll carry it. <laughs> uh, you say so. So I <laughs> I tell Kip that I think it's time we go. Leave him. And uh, I'm gonna shepherd uh, Charlie and the girl and Simonita and everybody, in, or you know, everybody in that little corner into the room. Okay, so you all shepherd into the small room. Correct? Yes, with the. Okay, so you board. all shepherd into the small room. Well, you said it, it's gonna take a while, right? For people to go down. Well, no. What I said is that you single you, file it's not, kind of thing. Yeah, it's a it's it's a descending so I kinda, natural. Yeah. So well, I kind of want to go. You kind of have to like balance yourself and find your next foot yeah, yeah, and find yeah. your next. And it looks like some of it has been kind of laid out and pieces have been pulled away, but it's not okay. like it's been carved into I'm gonna a set let, of stairs. I'm just gonna I'm gonna let them go in there first. Stairs. I'm Who's gonna let them? them. Well, everyone who ran into the room okay. to go down. It's not important at uh, this uh, moment, but start coming up with a marching order. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I was yes. just going to say uh, that I'm going to try to start lead. pushing all the furniture I'll towards the, the one door. door. Again, it's not important right at this moment. But okay. okay, back with you. Do I remember the guy saying a specific time, or did he just say at night? Give it time. He said they would be following. Okay. Okay. So it's left her awake. Yeah. I mean, if they're like. Is there a rope in their skull? Anywhere there? Like in the. Can you look around, do an investigation out. check. <laughs> With advantage? Bites around your tongue. 16. You find like some kitchen eyes, twine good. that you would use to, to bind some packages, if you will. Is it strong enough to, like, would a human person? Yeah. Yeah, would you be able to enough of it? Probably is there a heavy one? Yeah. Can I There's like a, a spool about that large. Kinda, I'm going to yeah, prop her up onto a chair and like tie the arms and the legs. So I can okay. write a number in the middle. You've of done it. that? You managed to do she's starting to drowsily come awake. Uh, I can use uh, I'm going, going to move behind, behind the chair until she's fully awake. Okay. Do you do anything about to expedite her? Just not the face. Not the face. I'm sorry? Not the face. From a dragon thing. <laughs> I don't think they said that, but okay. Um, so they, uh, after a short period of time, she starts to wake up and she's looking around. And she, she suddenly realizes she's bound to the seat, and she's looking around and she looks. Where are you? Behind the chair. Okay, and um, you hear a bashing at the door. <laughs> And the door swings open. Two individuals come standing in the room. Massive two thugs. And they have large wooden clubs with um, spikes. Do a perception check. With spikes around the edge of it. 
Do a perception check. Uh, 16. 16. The spikes look rather dulled. <laughs> they have these large spikes and they come clumbering into the room and they're like, and they charge towards you. Tongues. <laughs> okay. They say, you leave a bee. <laughs> <laughs> and they charge towards you. Do you, what do you do? You're behind her. I'm behind her. I'm going to try and move in front of her and try and try quotations and try and run past them. Okay, so you quote, try to run past them, clearly failing, and they start pummeling you with these clubs. What are you doing? Taking it. Okay. Are you, are, are you making it, any effort to make it look like you're yeah. back? Like what? Are, so what are you doing? Like, if they hit me, I'm going like, oh! Like, do you do or anything do you to fight try back? To fight back? Oh, uh, I saw the book, so I was just trying to swap them with it. With the book? Yeah. Roll it. Do uh, <laughs> you almost die? <laughs> That's a seven. You that swing this book at this guy with a club in it. <laughs> what a tragedy. He flails past him, missing mile, just missing his head. He pounds on you with a club and hits you in the right arm. The book goes flying across the room. We'll come back to you. Okay, back with everybody. Did you come up with a marching order? Oh, all right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I it didn't matter. Last, <laughs> so I have a plan for how yeah, to hide this. Hard. So one was going to go last, I think. I'm, but... I'm less. All right, so. Uh, I'm gonna, okay. Because I'm not large. No, no, I'm not going to take a leave. Okay. Um, I will. Uh, I I'm going to cast light on my shield. There you go. Okay, light That's on awesome. your shield. I'm going to follow right behind John. How large of a range is that? You can see in the dark. 30 feet. That makes sense. It is. That makes sense. 20 foot radius of bright light and 20 feet uh, dim light. So 40 feet total. Okay, 20 um, foot and then another of dim 20 foot. Okay. And yeah. then I'll be behind him and then uh, Kip. Okay, let's mm -hmm. just line it up if you would, just somewhere. Well, so we also gotta have, we have gotta block the camera, embryo, sure. the girl, the dog. Those all have to fit in somewhere. Uh, and I'm gonna go keep, in the middle. Right, right, I'm gonna keep them you tell me fairly they close are. to me. <laughs> taking this girl, I'm gonna say to no, John, okay, we're taking this girl I'm with take us. This whole thing Leave her with the authorities. Here. They're coming in now. Leave her with uh, the authorities. The not only is it gonna be, we're gonna be camera. waiting here for murder, but then we're also stuff. gonna be wanted for kidnapping. Oh. Okay, so you guys start to go no, down. Who's gonna who's, who's gonna last, last for kidnapping? She who's has last no, leaving uh, the big room? You're, you're we're, last, right? We're taking so the child with us after we just murdered. I'm, a room I guess full I'm of second. And we're gonna go bring her somewhere. What safe. do you do with the woman who oh, was we screaming her head off? <laughs> Is the guard um, coming with us? No, I just left her in the room. No, right? Nah. The the guard. I'm sorry. The, okay. No, the one who rests. So he's not coming with us. You went first. He's sitting at the table at the moment. So we just leave the lady <laughs> yeah. with him. What happened? with Shalom? Barricading the door. Uh, why did Why did we pull her into the house again? Just so she wouldn't. I mean, it's her home. I right, well, I don't know that, but I didn't so know. She was fine. Baldur said to bring her in, so I brought her in. I didn't know what was going on. She's out there making a scene, so he brought her in. Witnesses. Baldur told me to bring her in, so I didn't know what was going on, so I brought her in. Well, she's out there making a scene. The guards are wondering, so it's easier yeah. if she's just inside. Okay. What happens to her later it doesn't matter. Three individuals going into the room. I need to know that. Me, Shalom, Matthias. No. That's the. And I guess Matt, Matthias. That's Matt. a fire. Okay, that's good enough. That gives me. Okay, so, so many of us. You, Shalom, and you, Matthias, and Shalom. All three of you roll a perception check with advantage. Well, we did that. Four banner gets caught in the door. Ooh, I did not. Sixteen. Nine. Nine. You don't see anything. <laughs> and I'm, I don't think you know. Perception. I'm rushing them. Yes. That is, <laughs> that is a uh, sixteen. Okay, you see the woman at the back screaming her head off, screaming and screaming, and you see her run out of the room, and she goes, and she's struggling with the door. You hear the door eventually open, the outside door, and it, you clearly make it open, and you can hear the sound of individuals entering the room. The three of you in the back see six guys who very look very thuggish looking come into the room and they look initially as as they start to come into the room as if they're braced for an attack 
ready to launch into something and then they pause and they do a double take and you hear the guard mumble something under his breath the guard sitting at the table the spoon that he had taken and he had wedged into the table itself he takes his head and he slams his head down on top of it and you just see blood start to pour could I tell what he mumbled? Uh, roll an investigation check with disadvantage. Investigation with dis... 20. Uh, investigation. Okay. <laughs> Two natural 20s. <laughs> uh, that is a 9. You do not. You do not. But you can tell it wasn't... Um... Anything my good. life is coming up roses. Yeah. Okay, so you guys stumble into that room. As you do, you see those six individuals start to back out of the room at the same time. As if they're not okay. coming. As if they're not coming in. I will allow them to back out. <laughs> <laughs> well, your shalom is pushing you along. You go into this small room. What the door is there? What do you do? Oh, we go inside the... Okay, so you go into the bedroom. There's a bedroom door. Well, bedroom is a very loose term. Okay, and you start to go down these steps. There's a bed that you had pushed out of the way to open up this entrance. And I haven't forgot, I will grab the plank before I go. Yeah. <laughs> and then you say you were locking it. Yes, and once everyone is inside, I'm going to lock the trap door. Okay, pull, pull so you manage to pull it down, and as you pull it down, you see what appears to be a small ceramic vial over on one side that looks like that a, a small hammer would strike it, mm -hmm. and something would explode from it if somebody were to inadvertently uh, yeah, open that's, that's the trap, this that. entrance. But you had disabled it. Yes, yes. And you're able to, if you want, go. you can try in your mind, you say, I could re-enable this trap. I'm going to yell back to him. Pull the bed over top. You can. No, I'm just, I'm just going to lock it. Okay, so you just lock it at this point. <laughs> you you all managed to I'm come in down. I'm the cloth. I'm not a vicious person. Okay, so who has light sources besides Jumnus in the front? I have, I have dark vision. Um, okay, you have dark I vision. Do and it's not a light source. Let's but. see where you are. Okay, going back. I can light a, tro a torch. Okay, so you have a torch in one hand. What's in your other hand? Uh, I can do that too. Nothing as a friend. Nothing. Okay. okay. So just remember that should it ever become an issue. Okay. So light is on your shield. You have dark vision and you have a... Okay. You start to descend down this kind of winding... Um, I meant to pick I this up. I'm a lazy dog. Like <laughs> That's why I put it on cardboard. Oh, you're so strong. Thank you. <laughs> I just picked up a whole house. I know. Yeah, I just, just moved a, that whole house. Just a couple of years in the service of yada, yada, yada. Anyway. <laughs> Hence these gray hairs. <laughs> okay. Um, so you start to continue on down. You find a... The walls are natural stone. They're wet. They're slippery. During the descent, the temperature naturally drops. You, you're not ignorant to that, that that's normal. Humidity increases. The path kind of switches back and forth several times into the darkness. After descending uh, approximately uh, six minutes, you come to a very narrow opening. It's a very tight squeeze. Uh, roll who's in front. Roll a DC, roll a dex check, or an acrobatics check, whichever is better for you. Uh, okay. Um, dex or acrobatics? Yes, indeed. Uh, 17. Okay. Uh, you manage 
you found you found yourself in a very narrow passage mm -hmm. and you figured out how to negotiate it and you're able to describe it to the folks behind you mm -hmm. but it's something that you have to like squeeze your way through who's carrying the board oh no he put the board the idea was to put the board back up over the door right no no the board no, we need to come with us no, we, we need the board oh i don't know you tell me what are you oh, I, I just shalom misunderstood to, shalom told I thought me he didn't see the board but well he would have been well, yeah, there's there's a carrying the board. Okay. who's carrying so the board here you're guys? having to kind <laughs> of like there's a meander of oh, even your so weapon yeah. it's very it's kind of like you're having to it's kind of having to like squeeze around this this path to find your way through it um Eventually, you all manage to get past it with Jumnus's explanation of how to pass it. The dampness, it just pervades throughout the tunnel itself. It t you keep descending and switching back on these rocks for about another, uh, another, another four <coughs> minutes. It's difficult to tell distance-wise how far you've gone because it's just complete and utter darkness at this point. Pause there. Back with Gundry Foxhall. These individuals come into the room and they're bashing you back and forth. Uh, technology fails me again. Do you hear anything? Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay, so that yeah. completely Free failed. Me. <laughs> okay, so you're there in the room. They're bashing you. One of them goes ahead and he hits you in the right leg. And he, you take... Uh, eight points of damage from that. The other one hits you in the left leg, and you take another 14 points of damage from that. On eight, 14, 22. The woman, do you step out in front of her, or are you still- Yeah, behind? I'm stepping out in front so that she can see all this. Okay, so she sees them. She's bound to the, and they're bashing you with these clubs. They have what looks like spikes on them, but clearly you've already identified that the spikes have been cut. Filed down. I'm bit. going to take one more round of hits and then feign unconsciousness. Still hurt a lot. If they hit hard enough, you might not even have to. Okay. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're like three away from half. Another one hits you in the right arm this time. Bam! And then in the, the uh, as you swing, you inadvertently lift up your leg and it hits you in the right foot. You take another 15 points of damage from the one blow, and then from the it's other blow, you take another 13 points of damage. Exact out. <laughs> I'm sorry? Exactly. Okay, so, so I don't, you don't have I don't to even have this. to pretend. You don't even have to pretend. Oh, you knows. fall unconscious. It was a good... Darkness overcomes you. <laughs> Time for death saving throws. No. Was it... Darkness yeah. overcomes you. I'm no, but, but he may presumably so it was not lethal. lethal. Yeah, it I was don't know. part of the ruse. It, it was. It was. Not, you know, it was not lethal. You could tell. You're not a noob to this adventuring thing. <laughs> uh, okay, back with the party. It starts to switch back and forth and back and forth. Uh, uh, through the dampness. Okay. So, who's in the front? Roll a. You see up ahead of you. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and lay this out then. Tom, we need another camera uh, to show that camera. Oh my god. Uh -oh. So, you're coming down like this. Your character's right so here. We're going down. Okay. Ooh. Well, do I have a feeling we're going to encounter those like bone crawler things? If we if we run into the bone horrors down here, so cool. then it's gonna either be really really awful or just annoying. And what you see yeah. on this opposite, you see. <coughs> go ahead, I'm roll a dex check. A dex check? Yes. Uh, am I? Uh, rolling not a like dex check. Like a perception check. A perception check. I'm to sorry. To see this? Yes. Okay, that is going to be. Hang on. Perception. With advantage, because you have this bright light at this point. Just in case. Uh, 19 plus 12. Okay, so you clearly see this large crevasse in front of you. Okay. Can I judge? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say everybody, hold on, stop, stop. I'm going to tell everybody, I'm going to shout that as loud as I can. Presumably everybody stops. And it just echoes. Stop, 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 <laughs> dragon man. Stop. Um, okay, so, um, can I judge the distance approximately? Would it, would it be like about eight feet? 
Do you think it's slightly less? Yeah, you're gonna get feet though. Okay. Oh, I know exactly. So I'm gonna shout. Uh, I, we need that plank. Who's passed the plank up? Pass the plank. Pass the plank. <laughs> I pass the plank. <laughs> Presumably we pass. You manage to meander it from person to person. It Look takes a down. couple, a, a little down. while -ish to, to meander it through the crowd to get it all the way down. And you manage, they hand it to you. It's not a very balanced thing mm -hmm. to like hold at one end and do anything with. Okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, set the plank down. How are you doing? Uh, dead wood Setting wood. it down what? You can set it uh, vertically, you mean? Across, <laughs> I'm gonna, across the channel. Okay, so as you start to swing it out, you realize it's kind of awkward as you're swinging it out. Help. Help. Yeah, I'm gonna nope. help him. Talk I'm gonna assist him. I'm gonna help him grab okay, it. So Bor okay, so Borth is right behind yep. you. He was Bor right behind you. Do a strength check with advantage to, to hold on to him, and you do a dex check with advantage. So it's 15, so that's uh, 20. 20. Okay, so you managed to. That's a 17. Seven. So you're like balancing it out, and you just you feel yourself just a few rocks start to slip out from underneath your your feet, and he's holding on to the back of you, and he holds on to you, and he managed to slowly lower this across. And as you do, you notice right down at the base where you were lowering it to, there's a carved area. Mm-hmm. That mm -hmm. where the board very neatly fit right into that spot. Solve the puzzle. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put it in that Solve spot. The puzzle. Then, presumably. And it clearly it falls into a notch on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, too big. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> That's what you were carrying, just so you right. know. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just like an entire, I like, I picture like the whole beam to the house. <laughs> Do I have enough, is there enough space to where I'd be able to like step back a little bit and like let people pass me? You would have to like squeeze up against the wall. It's very narrow. I mean, this looks actually like there's more room than Yeah, that, really that's, that's what I was wondering. Okay. So I there, there's way less of creating <laughs> that kind of sensation, if you will. Okay. Uh, yeah. Jonas, do you want me to go first? As you start to go across, you see that there's oh, an iron gate on the other side. Okay. And How there's enough room for like one person on that other side. An Maybe iron gate? Two. Yes. Um, so right here. Thank you. Uh, so if you can imagine like a gate, I can't really put it there. Does that make sense? But it's like right, it's right it's past like there's where enough, the... Yeah, like there's ah. enough space for it right <laughs> there. Okay, does it, from what I can see, when Whoa. I'm shining my shield right at it, can I see like a latch or a lock or something? Or is it something that you'd have to like pull up? You see it on the other side. But it's, it's a lattice, so you can stick your hand through? You'd have to unlock it from the other side. Okay. And does it... Does it stop at a certain height? Like no, it goes all the way up. Oh, so because it's a cave, so it's just from the roof. Yep, taking up the whole. Yeah, it's like a portcullis, but not. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a portcullis type of lattice gate. Um. You think that maybe somebody with enough decks might? I mean, but it would really be a reach. Mm -hmm. Might be able to get around and do something if they knew what they were doing. Okay, um, I can try. I mean, I'm slender. <laughs> okay, uh, it's locked though. Is there, I can it. see a lock. Yeah, but well, we have to pick it. So, I, so you well, first of all, you see it on the other side. You haven't done anything. You're on still on. I'm this still side, on the same right, on yeah. this side. Yes, yeah, so, you just lowered this board there. You can't. I mean, that's all you see right now. You see the lattice. You make written. Okay, so, so you get right. up and start looking. I mean, it's kind of hard. What do you see up there? There's a. There's some kind of gate. Uh, on the right on the other side, there's not really a like a, a door or something, like a gate. Like who, a gate. Who opened this, the door that we used to get in here? Uh, Shalom. Okay. Can we can we have Shalom to the front, please? <laughs> Shalom. Can you, Shalom can you squeeze to the up to the front? He's all the way in the back. Is there room for him to squeeze by? There's us? a Shalom aboard this one. You'd have to like press up against like walls, okay, and yeah. some of you would have to like get up on top of ledges. 
I'm gonna like do like push your manhood up against each other's <laughs> cells. I'm gonna do like what small few goonies. Do we I'm gonna push him through my legs. I'm gonna have him go <laughs> It's right under. <laughs> you push him down through. Be a briefing. Love shalom. And as you do, you intentionally lower yourself down. Yeah. No, no, no. Like I'm, I'm just making enough room so we can. Okay, 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 okay. I'm joking, but okay. Eventually, you manage. It's a weasel in your way toward the front. And I, I leave my torch with. I'll grab, I'll grab it because okay, so I'm right has back. Not with bother. Oh, so right. change the face. <laughs> <and> who <laughs> has some light I, in the back? Oh, Anybody? I, I guess I'm Matthias. Matthias has the light in the back. Matthias has the torch now? Matthias, yeah, you have Matthias, a torch in your hands? Yeah, Matthias, he's the last one. Okay. Matthias? I'm going to give you my what torch before I start going. Turn Turn off YouTube. You have the torch in your hand, correct? Now he does. Uh, I'm giving you my no, torch. I... Okay, I will take the torch. Yes. Okay, so inside your shield, you have the torch in your one hand. It's a little bit awkward, so you're not going to get full use of your shield should you need it. And then you still have your sword in your other hand, correct? Right. Visual okay, lance. good enough. Um, I'm just kidding. What? So, the lance. Flag. Just a war <laughs> you go over. The flag! Oh. Um, do, you, or do you have anything like on your, like a small item on your person that I'd be able to cast light on to give you the light? Like it's not the, the, the Bible. <laughs> the Bible. <laughs> All right. Uh, I care. I have. I have a thing that that I can put. Okay. The, sure. The sure. Um, if if I may, and uh, I'll, I'll whisper a little prayer, and I'll I'll you know, the light. She's it, well read. It moves from from the shield <laughs> onto my light moves from the shield onto the Bible as I walk. And then the I say, I wait six, six seconds, and I say, wait, one more thing. And I'm gonna cast guidance on you, so you get an extra D4 and a skill check within the next minute. I put the, the Bible. Clock's ticking. Good luck. It's like a letter thing. Roll like counting. Hold the book, just like the figure, and then go down. Okay, so you go down. You're at the front. You're on this side of the plank. Check. You see the plank. This one foot wide <laughs> plank. Okay. You look across. It's just darkness. Don't look down. Is the board pretty sturdy? Or is it rocking around? I'm gonna be... How are you checking? I mean, just based I, on him walking I, across. I'd when he's walking Nobody's across. walked across it yet, have oh, they? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. gonna hold it in gate. place while he, while he goes across. If I may. So... Come on. Go ahead, I'm listening. Uh, roll set, roll uh, insight check. And who's behind him and who's behind him? Right behind me. Jonas and Bolt. Um, Jonas and Bolt. Three of you roll an inside okay. check. Okay, before, before he walks across, 16. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie rope <laughs> around his waist. I'm sorry, 16? 16. Inside, 22. And then it was four. So, I just want to tie some rope around his waist. I naturally think that it might be a good idea to... Perhaps secure yourself somehow. And then Borinth, <laughs> out of the blue, says, Here, let me tie a rope. He reaches around your waist. I'm going to tie it around, like, harness style around his waist. I'm going to double check. As a sailor, I'll tell you. What's that? He's got a sailor, I'll tell you. Yeah, but I mean, I'm... As, as a sailor, a master of knots, I'm going to make sure the knots are secure as uh, Borinth does this. Okay. The knots are perfect, perfect with your <laughs> sailor skills. You tie yes. a double bowline, triple... Square knot, and I'm gonna that's anchor it around like thing, some of those stone, one of those stone <laughs> pillars because I have like 50 feet of rope. Sailor. I'm gonna anchor it around one of the one. stone pillars that we're <laughs> climbing, know, once a sailor, climbing a down if I can, like some sure. around stone, and then I'm gonna kind of. So you create like a lever so that it right exp exponentially yep. increases your force. So if he force, falls, I can I'll be able to support him along. Break his fall. Yep, exactly. And and stop him from going any further. I'm proficient in the mountain. Across the okay, roll a dex check. Where I'm from, where my tribe is from, is in the mountains. Natural one. <laughs> you can add a D4. I you can got add, a, can a, add 12. a D4. You can add D4 if you want. You have the guidance if you want to use it. Oh, is this just a walk across the board? Is 12 enough? Uh, you start to feel yourself falling at the edge. You start, you're start. you going across. The board is very wobbly, and you're making your way. What did you do? I added the, the D4. Oh, you didn't add the four? Oh, okay. 
and, and, and change. That's a 15. 15. 15, you manage to stop. Whoa, all of a sudden it's like <laughs> a tight rope walker. You manage to you spread your arms out and you manage to make your way across. It takes you about a full six seconds to make your way across. And you get across this small ledge. You're right there up against the gate itself. <coughs> this grate, almost, if you will. You could probably reach your arm through and around, but you think that you really gotta have a very tiny, skinny arm. And you're on a small enough ledge that maybe one other person could fit there, but it would be like very, very tight if you were to do so. Okay, but to open the grate, I just need to pull something. That what are you is nothing. using as a light source? Yes, yeah, the, the Bible. The Bible. Oh, it's the Bible. Shining. Okay, so you have the Bible. It's shining outward and through the grates, and you see it, and all of a sudden you hear a ding, 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 ding. Well, that's not ominous. It's coming ding. from the other side. It's coming. You look up and around. It seems to be coming from right around you. Ding. Somebody left the car door open. <laughs> okay, I'm right back to you. Do any of us hear? Back with Gundrick. What are you doing? I'm unconscious, so. Okay, eventually you start to come around. And you you look up in the room and there's nothing there. I mean, well, I mean, there's, there's no one there. Am I at max hit points right now or no? You're at. You'd be at one, I guess. Okay, so I'm at one. And then the guy told me that there would be a healing potion in this room. So I'm going to start looking around for a satchel or something. Where did he tell you it would be? I, well, I do not remember that. It was two weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah. Roll a so intelligence cover. check with advantage. Oh, he said he was looking at cover. I pressed oh you remember there was supposed to Seven. be a potion. It's seven percent. Yeah, so that's a six total. <laughs> you totally forgot. You didn't anticipate getting beat this hard, this quickly. And you stumble around, and lo and behold, your hands eventually come underneath the cup. You come across oh, no, a dead. flask, <laughs> and it seems to have been wedged Shut underneath off. the cupboard itself. I'm going to take, take it out. Okay. I'm going to compare it to the healing <laughs> potion I already have on me. This one is ceramic, so it, you can't see in it, I mean, per se. Yeah, you look inside it, it's like a healing potion. Yeah, pop it back on, just stash it for later. Okay, you pop it back on and you stash it for later. What are you doing? Did he tell me to go to a specific place or just to where I was staying after that? He told you to return to your place where you're staying. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so you leave. Is that you what leave does? the the door is ajar as you head out. It's dark. The streets are empty. Oh, There's a few lights burning in some windows. Uh, you hear the sounds of some amorous activities, but otherwise, silence. And you make your way through the streets. And you're heading to... I forgot the name of the tower, but it's the place where... I... The Teutonic the place where Jung is. You're heading to the Teutonic Templar Tavern? Okay. So you head to the Teutonic Templar Tavern. Yes, I'm just looking for a track. Okay, so you uh, do a, an investigation check or whatever it is. You do it to him. That would probably be it. That I do. 18. Uh, you don't think it's trapped. You hear a voice from beyond the grates just further down. It says, Ah! Tat tat, hey, bene yulim, bainin, ne nebin bu crazy, crayon horse. Tat tat. Do you speak Turkish? Yes. I you do? Oh, okay. So you know he's saying, hold on, hold on. I'll be right there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, we don't know yet. Okay. So you're waiting at the entrance. What's the rest of the party behind him doing? I'm going to say, Kip, Kip, come up here. 
Kip. I'm going to grab Kip, kind of push him up towards the front, because I know that he can see further than any of us. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask him to, you know, what do your elf eyes see? What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> I, te I tell. And I see Shalom in front of a gate. Jonas. <laughs> he's right behind me. Yes. Well, he's the one behind me. I tell him, there's someone on the other side. I well, he's start. on the other side of the trench, right? Yes, but that's... Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. yeah, okay. So you talk back to... I just want to make sure I understand. You're not, like, whispering. No, I'm not whispering. I just... Okay. I just... Normally. Okay. So you, t you speak back to him. What you see, you see this dark crevasse in front of you. Mm -hmm. And then this wooden board that you guys had procured, laid down, put out in front. Him on the other side, on a small precipice, if you will, a grate in front of him. And he's standing there. That's what I see. But he's got, he's got how, how many, how far could you see in there? 60 feet. So he can yeah, see but, 60 feet. Yeah, oh, you see, feet. I'm sorry, you see yeah. slightly farther down yeah. the court. But also he's got a bright light. Yeah, in there's, and there's a great... It doesn't uh, prevent right. you from seeing, but... Right, I'm just going to say ready. You don't have just like... Ready up. Okay, so there's, there's somebody coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I so I guess I'm, I'll walk in front of you and get to the other end of the. Top. <laughs> yep. Is there enough room for two people to stand on here where Jumnus is? Uh, yes. Okay, close so to each other. You don't have a lot of movement. Just, you just, kind of have to wedge past each other. Just this, don't don't, don't let them do top of the plank. Hmm? Well, we uh, you gotta we, we're assuming That's, they're next to the plank. Yeah. We'll, uh, yeah. We're not like on the plank. <laughs> yeah. Everyone stand in the middle of the plank. And, That's uh, all. I'm just going to step on. I'm yeah. just going to like. Yeah, I just flip it. Okay. okay, so back with you. What are you doing? Is it or something? Making my way back to the... Hey, Eli. Uh, you know, tavern. Back over here? Yeah. So you meander Sorry. through the streets. Squeeze through. It's a good, it looks like that, albeit dark. Clean, whitewash. Eventually, you, you kind of lose your way, but you eventually figure out where you are. Sorry. And you recognize the plaza. That very distinctly is burned into your memory, whether you want it to be or not. Tripod would make it tall and enough. you mm -hmm. go down one uh, side road, it slightly descends down, and there on the right hand side, you see the two shields one uh, black and yellow cross, and another of a red cross, somewhat overlaid of each other. You don't walk back in. Okay, you walk back in. <coughs> and inside, you see behind the bar. It's a darkened bar. It's not exactly a uh, uh, a busy night. And there behind the bar is uh, Hans, the individual that you I don't remember if you recognized his name from before or not. Hans is, is behind it and he says that. Uh, uh, it's Jump Jump yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we gave this to uh, How was your evening? Honestly, not very well. Yes, yeah, so you look like... Um, Hell. Like you... Uh, uh, do you do those uh, nine round things? Is that what they call it? Um, do you want a drink on the house? Yes. He pours you a drink. Yes. Uh, it's yeah. broken. Chug it. Amazing um, though. You do not have to drink it. Stop. Stop. Here. Drink this as well. This might make you feel a bit Perhaps we did not get it. I have no idea. He pours you another drink. Thank you, Hans. It restores. 3d8 plus 6 hit points. Wow. What was he now? Oh my god. And 3d8 so plus 6. 7. 5, so that's. 19. Yeah. 19 plus 6, so 25 more hit points. So I'm at 26. And you add. Roll 1d6. And add 4 to your strength. Add 4 to my strength. What? It's something I worked up on my own. Whoa. Is that permanent? Oh, How do we get it? Right? Temporary. Oh, it's temporary. It's not oh, your yes. business alone. <laughs> I hope. You might not want to erase the eight. Are you going to erase it? 
I do not. Whatever issues we had before, it's going to resolve. That's temporary. Yeah, that's right. Temporary. Always forgiven hobbies. But if you don't mind me asking, what exactly is the point of it today? I feel fantastic. I just didn't know if I made a recipe. I thought you said it was something that you worked up on your own. Yes, it was, it was a little bit of It's a Heineken. It's a what? It's a Heineken. The brewmaster. <laughs> anyway, okay, back with the party. Um, you hear this voice approaching, um, and he says, uh, through the bars, you see, so you're, what are you doing? I'm waiting. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're just waiting. Okay. Eventually, through the bars, you see, I'm waiting. you see uh, somebody approach. What's going on? Okay. And he says, uh, and Hello. the rest of you <laughs> behind, oh, wow, I actually have a yeah, hey, can seem you here. Who are you? I am. We got the the guard's name, right? No, you never asked his name. Nope. <laughs> Nobody cared. That guy sucks. Ah, <laughs> uh, one question. I should have said roll or perception check, but no, you never asked. All right. Okay. Ah. Uh, we came here from the <coughs> upstairs. The gentleman who lives there mm. let us leave through here because he was being mm -hmm. the, the house was being attacked. Mm -hmm. You see him reaching for something. That's him. That's the girl. Right? I have no idea. I thought we had his name. Is is that his name? Right there? No. No, uh, then I don't know what that is. <laughs> I thought Oh, that. I know what that is. Never mind. I thought I had asked. Uh, no. If we did, I didn't asked. write it down. I was down. complaining that we weren't I know, asking I know, I know what that <laughs> is, but that's definitely not his name. <laughs> we didn't. I have the name of the woman. I know where she lives. I have her daughter's name. I, I don't agree. have... I agree. <laughs> yep. I don't have... Background. He's reaching for something. I mean, at least we remembered the plank. Bob. <laughs> Bob! Bob! If you could just open the, the door, we... Roll of persuasion check with disadvantage. With disadvantage. First, we'll be back on the table. Seven. Nice. He puts, you see him starting to put something up to his mouth. Can I see what it is? It's, I, I have the light for it. Yeah. Kind of it's very small. Uh, <laughs> very small. Uh. Did I notice that Kip was south, was up there? Oh, I'm sorry? Did I notice that Kip <laughs> went there? Did you notice? Yeah, uh, roll a perception check with this bag. You're kind of focused on that. Well, you can roll and find out. You I, I don't know if you would have noticed or not. Uh, sure. Yeah, um, so weird. Yeah, he, you know, it's sure. Oh, sure, why not? Okay, you did notice that he was there. Uh, Kip, I need you. Hmm? I need you, Kip. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I assume he's, he's a skinny one. He's an elf. So. Yeah. As you're gonna walk over. Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm gonna yeah. cast guidance on you as as, as you go. Okay. So I'm gonna be with you and you glow a little. Go. What'd you do with the rope that was around you? It's still there. Okay. So, so he can even use the rope as a yes. guide, <laughs> right? So I just hold onto the grate. I think he's very dexterous. So yeah. I don't think I don't we're worried know. about that. Okay, no, I mean, I so anyway. you roll like, a dex check. Hold the rope uh, 26. 26. You're like <laughs> skittering across this top. 29. You even 29. stop and do a twirl and then continue your way across. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the other side, but you're wedged Stop right up against him. But before you get there, he takes this object in his mouth and he blows on it. And you hear ah. the distinct sound of a whistle. Okay. Uh, while the guy was coming to us, did I have time to check the lock to see what was supposed to, how it, it is open? Not yet, you didn't, no. It, how long did it take for him to get here? How long did it take for Kip to no, get for there? No, this guy. 
because I I assume while I was waiting for well, him I to didn't show hear you up, say that. I mean, maybe I'm mistaken. You didn't tell me you were it, looking. Okay. I, I said that I was go I was gonna see how. Okay, you how did it, it work? Because I was gonna call someone and just explain them to. Okay, if the so guy you looked at it. You you figured it out. It's just a standard key lock. And there's no key. It's just a little part. Not on your side. The key. I mean, you have. It's on the other side. Uh, uh, the key is no the, key on your side. Uh, there's but there's a key on the other side. There's a. There's no key. key. There's a key hole on there's the other side. Hole. There's, there's, hole. Hole. Okay. there's a key hole there's on the other side. There's a key it's hole. It's meant to be locked and unlocked from the other side. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Uh, roll a perception so check. Uh, just nasty step. Roll a perception check. You hear the ding. Oh, the ding. You had to steal. Keys are way stronger. You look at that. It's kind of... There's somewhere... Yeah, there's an alarm spell to tell somebody. Yeah, that somebody's here who needs to be let in. Yeah. So, so as he blows the whistle, I'll be like, "Wait, I have a question. Does he look like a guard?" Yes, he's distinctly wearing a uniform. Yeah. So. Okay. And uh, so after, I guess he he blows the whistle, and I'll say, uh, "I'll say, wait, we were sent here." What language do you say? Oh, um, just uh, uh, ad adventures camp. Hey, Kip and I are enrolling in some Turkish language classes. <laughs> so get out of this great place. <laughs> what is going to happen? I mean, I can't talk to anybody. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> I can okay. cast talk. So um, he mutters something at you. He doesn't fully understand you, but he kind of, you get the impression he kind of, sort of understood you. And, and I'll, I'll just turn to Shalom and be like, tell him. Tell him we were yes. sent. Yes, we were sent for the, by the guy. Uh, a few, a few other people suddenly appear behind him, and they're like, uh, oh, great. He he mutters to you in very broken adventurer's cat. Who are you? We were told. Uh, translate. We were told that uh, you would help us uh, through the gate. <laughs> uh, from the lady. <laughs> From the owner of the house who would not reveal his name. He, he didn't catch all of it. Did you translate it? Yes. I, I you translate it? Hey, he's like... He, he says, told us to bring the, the, the girl. The daughter of the, the woman. He was attacked by men with animal masks. You see his expression is like, I have <laughs> no idea what you were talking about. Is there... No In Turkish, she says told, to you, yeah. <laughs> wait here, I will um, get a, a, a supervisor. Yeah. Okay. It's like the DMV. We're <laughs> <laughs> back with you. So you're we, back in the... the sorry. Before he leaves, I said, but we have a little girl here. Can we just, can we wait on the other side of the game? <laughs> Two of them wait, and the one continues on down, and they're like looking at each other, like. And the two of them wait back with you. What are you doing, Hans? Let me tell you, this is just fantastic. But I am completely just be both figuratively and literally, so. I would appreciate if you just show me to my room. And I tip him like 10 gold because I still have 30 on me. He looks down at it. It's a huge deal. Uh, um, I think you need a fresh room. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I would give you a fresh room. And he leads you, he hands you a key. This is a part of me. And he takes you up and he leads you to a fresh room. And he says, there's this door. You know, uh, I hope you have a good night. See you tomorrow, Hans. Yeah. 
Good night. And he leaves. Okay. And you go in the room. Okay, you go in the room and you lay down. I assume. Correct. Yep. Or something to that effect. Just fall Okay, asleep. back with the rest of the party. I'm gonna say to John this because he's right next to me. I'm like, oh, I'm kinda like preparing myself onto the rope. It's like John this, we need to get through that gate right away. I can maybe take something to get me through that gate. What do you mean? Well, I could take I, I could take a potion that I obtained. It'll increase my strength temporarily, but to try to force the gate open. Try to force the gate open. Can, does uh, do we have anything else that we can use? Uh, we have money. We have money. But, uh, you had money. We, we, I've we, got something that might work. I imagine we can all hear each other, right? We're all well, super well, the, close. Yeah, together. we're up. Yeah, we're right at the group. We're all like really close together in a tunnel. But yeah. we need to move pretty quick because who knows I'd, if they're coming up behind us, and there's going to be more guards. The longer we wait, more guards in front of us. Yeah. So we either go through the gate now. Secret entrance to the prison. How is that's what it seems like? How is the gate locked? Does anyone know? Yeah, it's there's, a there's locked a single on the inside. On the other side. So okay. uh, the the guard must have uh, had a way in here, um, and my guess is that he no, was a guard. bribe. No, he he's no, a guard. he was a guard. They would let the him in. The other guys are guards. Yeah, but he was gonna help. This the, was he was gonna help the woman. Get into the prison. No, no, no. He was gonna help the woman find her husband. He was refusing. Prison. No, Not he was the refusing prison. the the attackers, the guys that we killed. He was refusing to give up how to get into this secret location. They were looking for this back entrance. Yes. So this is what he was protecting. He was protecting this entrance. Right. And he, okay. yeah. So I if he showed up woman. at this gate, the guards would have let him in. Okay. All right. Well, I, okay. And the woman, she was caught in the middle. Yeah, okay. I, I thought that her husband was in prison, and she was gonna go to him to get to the husband. Also, I mean, maybe. Yeah, we, maybe. Don't, we didn't hear anything to the contrary. Yeah. I don't think. I thought I remember hearing. I, I maybe, but I'm this is what he was protecting, and this is yeah. what they were looking for. He was for. gonna help. He he knew where her father was. So if we need, if we need, how we? The question is just how are we gonna get past this gate? That's the question. Yeah. Do we wait, see if they let us in. I mean, we'll be exactly where they want us anyway, in prison. Or we could try to I'm gonna be yell proactive. Maybe, Shalom, can you attach the rope to the gate? Yeah. I have, Borinth, before you try to, like, destroy the gate, I know, you, I know how much you would love that. I do have a few things that may get us through the gate. Okay. Are the guards still on the other side? There are two guards on the like other they're side. Watching. They're watching us. And they're listening. Yeah. And they're listening, right? Yeah. Presume. But, but um, can they speak Adventures Camp? Or do they just watch? Well, I don't know. Broken. Because yeah. <laughs> they're going to well, start taking Adventures Camp. I'm going camp to pass. <laughs> I'm going to pass my two potions down to whoever wants to use them. So I'll hand them, hand them down to Borinth first. Well, hand them That's down. what they are. <clears throat> they will get you through the gate. Oh, wow. Yeah, that will. No, it wasn't. It's not going to be Adventures Camp. Yeah, well, the, both together, the they won't even know you're doing it. Well, you, the, the, the gate is it's still locked. Yeah, but if you're invisible, they won't know that you're unlocking it. You don't have the key. The so yeah. one can just open it. Oh, uh, yeah. is, should be oh. Kip. They won't I, exactly work together, do, do, would We would know what these are. Yeah, I mean, you're telling us what they are. Yeah. We know what they are. Yeah, I think... Shalom would be the only one that would be able to benefit from this. Yeah. How, what is he going to do with those guards on the other side? The key, they have the key, so you'd have to take them down in order to get the key. Or no, no, no. I can, I can yeah. pick the lock. That's okay. If need it be. Okay. Um, Kip, I'm going to hand them to Kip and tell Kip to pass them up because he's <laughs> okay. So closest. I'll take them and I'll pass them along to Kip, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to have to. Borinth, hold the plank. I, I got, I'm on the <laughs> plank, and I got the rope. So I can okay. hold the plank from the other side and sturdy. Sure. Steady it? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so so we'll do that. With decks with advantage then. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna go as far as as far as need be to hand over the potion in that. Side. Understood. Uh, that's a 19. Okay. So you manage to very without any difficulty walk along. You look at it's just utter darkness on the other side. You have the rope as you're making yeah, your way across. You get to the end of it and you realize there's no more space on that premises. Right. 
precipice mm -hmm. other than the two individuals who are already wedged up against that gate. You hand over the potions while holding on to the rope, and you're careful. Teetering yeah. there. Are you? What, <laughs> what are you doing now? Um, at that point, I'll probably shuffle back. Okay, so just roll dex with advantage again, going back because he's holding the board, he's holding the rope. That's a 19. Again. Okay, so you managed to make your way ever so carefully back while looking down into the abyss below, and you're back on the other we side. Up, we looked up the rules on that. You should be able to do both. Yeah. Yes. Well, one just makes you invisible, the other one will just take over, and you can end it whenever you want. Yeah, like a so spell. I discreetly. I'm gonna take first. Just turn your back to the guards. I don't know what you're taking. The so. portion of invisibility. Okay. Invisibility. And then I'm gonna take the portion of guys yeah, four. Yeah, I guess. Wow. It's, you're not okay. Good. That way, I, I turn invisible. I go to the other side of the the gate. So, and I return to my physical form, still invisible, and I'm gonna. Unlock the, the gate. Okay, so you turn it's yourself invisible. Disappear. There's two guys watching you on the other side. They're not physically like fixated on you, but they're kind of talking with each other, and they see you there, and all of a sudden you kind of like <coughs> disappear. Uh, but we, he, they saw us just moving around, right? Yeah, they can see something's going on. Because Kip is up there too, so there's still a body going, there. But, so they, but they feel confident. They have a locked gate in between you and them. And you haven't done anything hostile yet. No. But all of a sudden somebody disappears in front of them and they're like, they're talking to each other. I and spell light. So you're on the other side and you suddenly, uh, you can disable Gash's form on your own, I guess? Bonus yes, it's okay. a bonus Okay, so you disable Gash's form and you suddenly appear, you're on the other side. Are you facing them or facing the door? But uh, they cancel my invisibility? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Yeah. Disregard. My bad. You're invisible. You're yeah, on the other I, side. Invisible. Yeah, you took the invisibility <laughs> first yes, and then yes, the gadget. Yes, yes. You are invisible. You basically How turned convenient. into carbon monoxide. How convenient that I had those two poach on this. Yes. <laughs> Don't we have an audience with, what's his name? Um, the, we never the, met the, 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 prince, the palace, the king, or the, you got the sultan. Yeah, yeah, that would probably be a good thing to bring up at this point. Well, we're going to get inside, and then we'll deal with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. My point is we have a letter yes. stating that we have an audience with I know, this man. But there's things are happening right now. Okay, so I'm going to try to unlock this. Unless, unless, unless I see them okay. carrying the keys. Just saying that maybe this is our way in. <laughs> yeah. to, you know, our way out of this. Yeah. Uh, do you have a chip for the potion of healing I got from? Um, I one of those? <laughs> oh, my. I actually thought you were going to consume it. Huh? So yeah, I did it. There you go. <laughs> cool. Maybe they will play into it later. Can, it can actually can might be stronger than that, so oh, just wow. remind me later. Just going to cut using. Okay. Doesn't say it is stronger. No, if he than attacks, that. he has to spell. It's just spells. Okay. Spells. Huh? James still has your guidance. Oh, okay. That always happens. When yeah, fair enough. No. Remind it's me just one. But I got a 16. Spell 16. You per se. stick That's the, a fair point. the key in the other one lock. Said, a spell. And the lock, you hear it but go. It makes sense. Click. And it, like, it's it's not a quiet lock in here. you got to like, crank it around. You can't pretend to play with it. And you manage to get it unlocked. It's not a complicated lock, it's just noisy. So I, I get out of the way and I, I whisper to keep that it. on the other side. It's on that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you wanna do. And I'll just I'm just gonna basically be like, Kaya, are you there? <laughs> Who's Kaya? The woman. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, my it's, bad. It's so. not the time to go to crazy town. <laughs> it was not, not a good time. time. <laughs> the time to go to crazy town. You know, I hear, you know. It was such I a hear good voice out of the air, you know. But, you know. <laughs> Somebody had a deviator from. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tesla, that wasn't me. And, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I guess I'll just try to open Someone. the lock. Some just okay. to, uh, to open the gate, I guess, right? Okay. The gate uh, starts to to lift upward with relatively ease. It's kind of noisy, as it does. You keep just yeah, I'm, I'll, so we'll try and open it. The individuals start to, uh, the individuals in front of you see the gate lifting up, <laughs> see you lifting the gate in front of them, and it's noisy, it's like, 
Kind of it's not that. hard to look. Roll a strength check with advantage. A strength check. Well, while this is happening, can I start to try to go across? Of course you can. And oh, natural twenty. Natural twenty. So you oh, just you throw this gate, gate up, <laughs> and it goes flying straight up into the air. What you? Eighteen. Eighteen. You make your way across. You <laughs> skitter across. Seems, 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 on the other side. He's inside the gate. He's on the one side, same side of the gate. Uh, so you're both at that precipice right at this okay. point. And those guys, I think it's time for an initiative did, roll. Did how long has it been since I cast tongues? When I, I, I cast tongues when I picked up the when problem. I picked up the room. The, the girl. Yeah, he just did. Okay. It took us. It, he just shimmied back. It's 15 minutes we got here, right? It's I'm going to say an hour, at least 15 It lasts minutes. an hour. Oh, so I can still uh, talk. It's a little crazy. It's right at the edge of it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Where did you put the roller good. skates on? Okay. I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, it was working fine before. Gentlemen, this has all been a huge misunderstanding. We're here on official orders, and I'm going to present. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the letter. In the darkness. And they say to you, stop right where you are. I will do that. Um, 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 one of them starts to come forward. The other one backs down ever so slightly. Um, this guy is not Careful, there. It's right delicate now. balance. <laughs> uh, this one shouts down for the. You hear him shouting down. Eh, 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 meh. And he's calling for people to come, it sounds like. And okay. this one comes up toward it, and he goes, um, who are you? We are the champions of the sun. We're here on... I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting out all my paperwork. Roll a persuasion check. I'm gonna say we're here on behalf of uh, Char the Charles Robert, the King of Hungary. <laughs> roll a perception check was, first. Was perception? Cozy and then roll a... Uh, perception is 22. Okay, so you are utterly, utterly convinced that this is just some underling knucklehead that you're talking to right yeah. now. Okay. And, um... So, and then you start telling, roll a persuasion check. Okay. That's a six. He says, stay right where you are. Okay. I cannot make that decision. Okay. He's got Look, we have a small child with us. Can we just bring her over here where it's stay, safe? Stay, stay right. You can see he looks very nervous. He's saying, stay right where you are. He says, if, if it's okay with them, I don't care. Is it okay? But, but stay right where you are. Okay. Okay, so you do? Yes, sure. Okay, so you stay right where you are. And um, eventually, and what does the rest of the party do? Anything? Stay right where I am. Okay, okay. eventually a ship. Go ahead. Am I able to squeeze the go down? Is there something? It's. You or it's probably not. This is down. very deceptive. It actually makes it look wider than it probably is. Does that make sense? It's you'd have to actually mush up against. <laughs> Shake them. You probably would have I to mush up against enemies. that guard. <laughs> okay. And Kick I mean, you could try, but by. you're not. Okay. Okay. No problem. Yeah, there, there's a chance that he would feel you going. Mm. Rubbing up against him. Does yeah. that make sense? Ooh. But is he smart enough to know what it is? Yeah, it's true. It's a ghost. No. <laughs> okay, eventually. <laughs> he starts screaming. Ghost! <laughs> eventually, a supervisor. Supervisor. <laughs> Meanders his the way manager. up. Huh? <laughs> the manager. That's the guy who says that that's nothing. <laughs> manager makes his way up. And he goes, um, who, who are you? Uh, no, this is the matter. Well, I'll say you guys knew uh, this, my name is Jonas Dawnflower. <laughs> and I'm, with the, I'm with the party. Uh, we call ourselves the Champions of the Sun. Um, we have fought alongside the ranks of Orangazi, uh, and we're here in the city on official business. Um, so for, why would you come down here? There's been a huge... It's been a long day. There's been a huge misunderstanding. We didn't mean to be here. We don't want to be here. We just want go. We just... We, <laughs> that's it. Roll a, roll a persuasion check. I'll even give you an advantage. 
That is going to be a 16. Oh. Matthias! Matthias does not! It's all that armor. He dropped like Matthias a rock. Matthias died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll, right, we'll, we'll, we'll see you in a couple weeks, Mahani. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back. Once he hits the ground, <laughs> you're in the room sleeping, and you hear a, a knock at the door. Uh, I go over and wake you ever so slightly from your slumber. Yeah, oh my God. I got up and opened the door. Making progress. You see the we woman made. there. That you had previously half a mile in the caves, and she just kind of I no idea you were gonna smiles at you. It's a very awkward, <laughs> smile. And she says, I'm very broken. She all ran out of the house and chased after kind of adventurous. Says, Hi, hello. I wouldn't mention anything. I'll just go that way. I was told you need company. No, not really. Her, her, her expression turns to surprise. You're supposed to see it. Come in and we'll figure out this misunderstanding. Okay. And she comes into the room. She says, I brought something for us to drink. I'm open to anything. She says, Do you have some, some cups or glasses? Or anything? No, not on my person. I do not. You didn't buy one of those fancy cups from that cup maker? I have two cups. Six bags we built. <laughs> you make cups? No. I do cups. I do yeah. Cups. I guess we Is could it from share. that person? From Was that his cousin? Right. Yes. No, I'm still going to just sell cups. And she <laughs> takes the bottle and she puts it to her mouth. Roll a perception check. She's not starting to wonder if that was Rocker's candy or not. Uh. Thirteen. I'm pretty sure she's not. <laughs> yeah. She says, would you, would you like some? Take it. Actually, drink it. Okay. We'll come back to you. Okay. Back with the party. <laughs> <coughs> I've been con save. Mm. I'm just thinking if there's going to be a constitution save or not. <laughs> So one way I thought we would be doing that now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, of course we're wrong about well, technology. Well, unfortunately, it appears that I fell down to my presumed death. <laughs> Why do you say that? Oh, we knocked his mini over. <laughs> oh, you knocked your mini over? <laughs> we knocked his, yeah. You're waving your flag. I thought you... <laughs> you... You... It you, must have been uh, really hard for you to cross all those narrow. You were spraying them with the uh, insect spray or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And his okay. combat horse. With, so and his his lance. He comes back and he says, oh, boy, um, he brings horse. all of them wherever he goes. She's all of your weapons. And follow me. Okay. I will guide you through here. Uh, I just hold mine. <laughs> this is where it goes. What is it? The hammer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'll sh I'll shout back. I'll just throw it down the cliff. <laughs> there, I'll, I'll shut. The throw it the hammer down the cliff. Yeah. Okay. Is there awesome. a range oh, yeah, on that? That's it. awesome. That's I get so it back. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, is there a range uh, on that range. or forever? Back. As long as it's on the plane. So I no, I don't God. have any weapons Great. except my shield. Just throw it in a volcano. So I'm not not. I don't want to be threatening. I guess. Okay, but there's you can see there are other. Yeah. So I'm gonna shout to everybody. I'm gonna say the they'll grant us passage if we sheath our weapons. I'm okay. going to tell everybody to go ahead while I, I, um, I, I guess. readily do so. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess you're, you're all the way in the back. Yeah, as back. I said, you throw you it to the torch, abyss. right? Or you have a light, right? I have a torch. My, right? my, my oh, okay. is the torch in the back. Oh, okay, so. yeah. Then we'll, well, I guess we'll all just start working our way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The cavern winds around and continues down. Still a little, still still a little actually weird about this board for Boulder. <laughs> Uh, everybody crossing the board <laughs> roll uh, decks with advantage because I assume you guys say that. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be on the one side. Just kind of yeah, helping yeah, one side. Fifteen. Sixteen. You make it. You make it. Anybody? Where's the natural one? Uh, and uh, Simonita and uh, and they both. They both make it. Me, me and Monty shatter the board as we go. Oh, I was gonna say no. I was gonna say as they bring the girl, I'm gonna pull the board on our yes. side. Yeah. And Simonita is carrying the girl. Okay. okay. And Once the last person crosses, oh. we're we're gonna pull the board across onto the side that we're at. Okay. You managed to do it. Fairly well, easy to do. Who's in the back? What were you saying, Monty? Uh, um, were we supposed to announce what role we got? Or, yes, oh. please do. He uh, twenty with modifiers. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. You make it. Um, <laughs> you make it. Okay. Uh, what about the wolf? Where's the fox? Uh, the wolf <laughs> easily can make it. Uh, okay. The wolf falls off. He just he jumps. <laughs> the wolf got a 22. I did Fetch roll. I did roll for it. I believe it. Yeah, believe it. I, I just... No way a wolf could make it across. Yeah, yeah. Low numbers. Just got high Okay, so Charlie everybody down. makes it across. You meander. The tunnels continue down in this kind of meandering, twisting format. You have to continue down. And then eventually it opens up into an area, while still natural cavern, it, it, it's clearly been hewn away at the walls at some point. And then you, it kind of meanders around. It goes to the, to the right, back to the left, back to the right, and then eventually comes to another large grate. They look at you just to make sure that you're not doing anything at this point. He says, we are going to guide you through here. We will take you to another tunnel. And then when we take you to that other tunnel, uh, we will guide you back out to the streets but there is no way to where you have to go from here do you understand there's nowhere what i'm sorry there's no way to get to where you need to go you said you are trying to see uh yes there's no way to get there from here okay well I mean, there's no easy way to um, get there from here while we were while we were walking through, like through the through the thing would i have had a second to talk to some of the party members as we were traversing, sure. So I well first the first thing I'd want to do is just make sure the little girl is okay and just tell her that she everything seems good. to be somewhat falling asleep in Simonita's arms. Okay, and I'll I'll just uh, I'll uh, touch Simonita's arm and I'll say thank you, um, and then I I would uh, just quietly to everybody else and be like, uh, are we maybe going to ask about Oda or anything else, or are we just getting out of here? How many guards are there? Would they know about Oda? Uh, it's hard I to don't tell know. in the darkness. I mean, if, because you have if like anybody this, would, I feel like this, this is the type of area. 20 foot glow and the mm -hmm. 20 foot dim. It's, it's just okay. kind of. How are the guards seeing where they're going? They have torches they, as well? Some of them have torches, yeah. Okay. But there's more than four? Yep, there's clearly more than four. You've been seeing a couple others okay. come and go as you. Okay. They've been passing <laughs> you along, so to speak. We need to get out to of guard, here. Because okay. they're going to be looking for us. Okay. So I think it's best that we get away from any guards, at least okay. for the time being. We all need We're to heal up. We need to get in out. The dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Which You're is the... why I thought it might be the time to ask. Like, I mean, ask. We want to, by all means, ask. But yeah, you we need to get out. Of here. We don't. That's all. We don't even know who is here. We don't know. Uh, we don't know where. Or we don't know what she is. Can't hurt. Okay. This is what some well, of I think it, it, it looks like you're going through this kind <laughs> That's of why I'm asking. just for yeah. the sake of argument. You don't need to get into it. We don't. So it's kind of like it kind of meanders. So it's 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 rough hewn, but it's it's enough that you can figure out how to get through it, so to speak. You come to another large uh, grate, and he says, uh, "This uh, we will guide you through this next room." Now, do not let anything here disturb you. Okay? Where are we? We are underground right now. Under and, and the city. Are, were you guarding something down here? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> we will lead you out. You just need to get out, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, he motions to another guard on the other side who comes forward, explore. unlocks the gate. They, several of the guards lift up the gate, and you are immediately hit chambers by the smell of human feces and urine and sweat and just the debris of humanity. 
and you can hear murmuring and mumbling and quiet whispering, occasional whimpering and what have you. And and you can sense that you're entering into a large cavern. This is what they're hiding. We'll come back to you. Okay, back with you. You're in the room. You drink this. Roll a con check. <laughs> uh, just plus two. A con save, rather. Uh, that's a five. You okay. Die. You die. <laughs> the world becomes dizzy, as you somewhat anticipated. And she just somewhat trepidatiously stares at you. And then you, you could see that there's almost a worried expression on her face. And then everything starts t- to somewhat fade and become somewhat disorienting. And you fall over backwards. And you feel as though your heart stops. But at the same time, You have all of your sensations about you. You see everything. You can't feel anything, but you see everything. And the woman, you can see her. She comes up to you, and she starts shaking you in a panic. She's shaking you. And you can see you're staring straight up at her face, and her face goes ashen white. And she's looking at you and, like, slapping you, and slapping you frantically. And then all of a sudden, the door bursts open. Do you speak Turkish? Not anymore, I don't. Okay. Did you cast tongues? Yeah, but, the, but that does that matter? An hour. No. You hear broken pieces. Him. Some individual saying, You killed him. You weren't supposed to kill him. And they grab the woman and they whack at her. And they. No! Oh, Second beating. To. I didn't mean to kill him. I thought it. And he's like, beating her about now you owe us we will cover this but you owe us I will do anything I swear I will do anything we will cover this you take care of the body and they grab her and one pulls her out and the other comes over to you and you can see him lifting up your eyelids, looking at it. And he leans in and whispers to you, It will be all right. Of course, I don't understand anything of what just happened, because I don't understand bits it. of it. You can figure it out. Okay, back inside. So was Kip, like, okay with the guy snapping the woman right there? Like bringing you back all the way to the role play yeah, question. Yeah, I probably would not have been okay with that. Okay. Okay. So you're so not okay with it. We teleport today. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you doing? We're on the battlefield. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Is the, I'm gonna say to the guard, the supervisor guard, a guy. Is he still walking with us? The supervisor yes. is still walking with us. Is this uh, a prison or a dungeon? Yes. Yes, in a manner of speaking. What are all these people down here for? <coughs> this is no matter to me. Follow me. And he takes you through, and as you go through, your light is about 20 feet in diameter? 20 feet bright, 20, 20 dim. And so you 40. see that the where it dims, beyond that, it's just darkness. Okay. But you hear voices throughout. And you have a sense that you're in a massive, massive cavern at this point. And then you recognize who was in the Dinaric Mountains. Is that the one with the giants? Uh, you, the troll? With the troll. Yes. Trolls. You, you, were were there. you were there? I was there. Yeah, yeah. Mattias recognized. I was there. You he were not us. there. No. Nope. You see a large <laughs> crevice in the center of the room. Uh-huh. Huge, massive crevice, probably 30 feet long, probably about 10 feet wide. And right at the sides of the crevice are these massive creatures that you recognize from once before. Let me just put them out as an example. Called it. And they seem to be almost at rest, their bodies. Um. I'm going to ask him what those are. 
Uh, they are guardians. What do they guard? They, uh, there is some special relationship. You do not need to worry about. Wait. Follow me. Just keep following. If you stay with us, you will be all right. We've encountered them before. Sky. You say that to him? Uh, sure. He looks at you strangely. <coughs> okay. That's it. No, nothing. He's, he's, he seems perplexed by that concept. <laughs> but he's like, the, the ones we found weren't this docile. Do you do something to control them? Uh, they have to be fed every now and then. But beyond that, no. Follow me. Keep following. Okay. And he starts to lead you past the crevice. Eventually, you come to the other side, and on either side of this massive cavern, you can hear the sound of, and the scent and the distinct smell of humanity. Just something, obviously, people lurking in the darkness on either side of this huge cavern. In little glimpses here and there, you can see shadows moving about, which are clearly humans in the darkness. And then he comes to another gate. And he's opened a gate. Yeah, follow me. And he takes you through the gate. You all go through? Sure. You all go through this gate. Yeah. Am I still invisible? Yeah. Yeah. How long does it last? Yes, it would be. One hour. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I would say. Yeah. It's taken quite a while, but you're still within it. I would say you're still within an hour. Can I. I'm invisible. Can I try just going as far as I can? It's still in the light to see see if I can see the people. Eventually, you go into darkness. Yeah, that's like I can't see the. Um. How far do you go? I mean, do you keep going into the dark? No, no, no. I, I stop before entering the complete darkness. Tell me, do I recognize these creatures? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, uh, roll an investigation check with disadvantage. Well, oh, that's, that's one. Critical miss. I can't go yeah. worse than yeah. that. Critical miss. No, you're pretty Don't sure. You become Something about them seems familiar. Mm -hmm. Isn't if I understand what you're mm -hmm. thinking. You do. <coughs> it was slightly different. Okay. But not massively different. Does okay. that make sense? Yes. So it doesn't it doesn't go. Your brain says, huh. Okay. Maybe. And our natural one too. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank okay. You. So you make your way through. What are you doing, Invisible Man? <laughs> uh, I was trying to see if I can see one of the per the, the people. I mean, it's still dark. Yeah. No, I'm I mean not. you can feel your way in the dark. You're but but you're invisible and it's dark. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk. Oda, Oda. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you rejoin is the group? Charlie's so far away. Yeah. yeah. Charlie is. You Charlie's see his yeah, shield no, light. Yes, I'm moving uh, ahead. Oh, oh. It's prancing along with the group. Hmm? It's prancing along. I'm gonna join the group again. Yeah. As you walk yeah, together. past the crevice, yeah. several of these creatures following me. They don't follow you, they kind of turn and watch you go. Almost as if they're watching you by themselves. But they're not doing anything. They're just kind of... Like the paintings where the eyes follow you. And it's almost like they're at rest. Okay. But you have a sense, without even thinking about it, that they see where you are. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay, so you continue past them. You go through the gate? Yes. Okay, you go through the gate, they pull the gate shut behind you. Yachtir um, um, will lead you with the other his other two subordinates the rest of the way out. Very well. Yes. Yeah. Very good. All right. Uh, so I'm going to let everybody go ahead of me, and I'm going to wait up at the back. Okay. 
So, um, and I'll uh, as as uh, who's who's right behind me? I, I mean, I, I guess I'll be. Um, I'll uh, I'll hand you. Oh, okay. I'll do that. I'll hand you a, a small wooden club, like a bling pin from uh, from like a ship, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I have. It. But I'm gonna cast light on that, and I'm gonna hand that to you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna wait up in the back. Okay, so you're so in you the have you have your shield. My shield doesn't have the light anymore. I transfer the light to this club, and I hand it to Boren. Okay. And I'm gonna wait to get to the tail end of the group. Okay. So the rest oh, of the group okay. continues to move on. You continue to move forward with the rest yeah. of the group. And the other two guards, eh, they're like, okay, fine. Everything's fine now. And they lead you. The path kind of meanders through the darkness. At this point, it's, it's still a rough-hewn cavern. But eventually it turns after several turns and twists and turns. And you see several turns off here and there. It turns into a very well-defined stone corridor. It goes for quite a distance, probably about 10 to 15 minutes. And then it comes to a set of spiral stairs. And then you start to spiral up these stairs and you continue to follow. And where are you for, at this point? I wanted, I wanted, like, as everybody was just about to heading out, I wanted to ask the, the superior officer or something. Yes, he's, he's on the other side of the gate at this point. He's, yeah. Yes. Uh, one thing, part of our mission, uh, do you know anything about the mark of the wolf? No. Maybe I'm the sorry. name Oda? Yeah. There are a lot of prisoners here. I don't know their name, if that's what you mean. Thank you. And I'm going to join the rest of the party. I'm going to hold everybody up at the stairwell before we go up. I'm going to wait for John to come back. Okay. I'll trot on up. And when he gets up to me and he... Um, do you think we should be here? What does is, what is Saren Ray tell you? Saren Ray... Should we be here? If should we're we here... let this go? I don't know. But if we're here now, it's where we have to be. What, what we did back there, things didn't turn out well. I admit. But we were there for a reason. And right now, I think the reason might be that little girl. But I don't know. But wherever we are, we're where we have to be. We just got to keep moving forward. People we killed were most likely looking for the people that were back in that cavern, that are being held in that cavern. You're right. Those conditions. No one should live like that. It's not even living at that point. We go up this stair, these stairs. There's no coming back here. Is there anybody? Are there any guards with us? Yes. Oh. Well, we're speaking in adventurers camp, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, well, he's, he's not speaking, speaking Turkish. Turkish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they haven't heard anything you've said so far. There's two guards with us, right? Three. There's three guards with us. Um... um you don't get the sense that any of them understood you. You under, you had the sense that the yeah. supervisor understood you. Okay. Um, look, maybe we should just go find a way to the surface. He said this will take us out to the street. We go, we mm -hmm. get Simonita, Umbriel, we get the girl safe. And then we decide what we do. Okay, I agree. That's fair. Everybody? No, no, everyone, everyone, all everyone, everyone to this. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like I was kind of waiting. Like, 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 uh, this is like a family meeting. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. Does anybody else have any? We That's should, why I held us up at the stairs. We should find her father. Mm -hmm. My only concern is that, yeah. is that considering what we know, what we, our past experience, I'm not sure whether or not there is any right choice to be made on the matter of intervention. It's the timing of the intervention. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all, we're not in condition. I'm not in the condition right now. Um, yeah, I, I yeah, we, like well, we don't know what these people have done to belong here. 
but no one should live no one should be here like this uh, I don't know we do we I, well I, I don't know I should we go we go up and then we yeah. we discuss more yeah if they are we're gonna affiliated know. We're gonna with know the guys that in. killed the woman then they deserve this I don't know I mean we don't know what they've done just because we don't know who killed that woman right I mean or just, I'm, just because that guy said he could, that they killed the woman doesn't mean that they I I when when he said that that they killed her uh, he was under um, uh, truth he was under uh, divine influence the zone of okay. truth. so I'm he was in the zone of truth okay um, I'm fairly confident I like I said I don't trust him I, I did I didn't trust him I didn't think he was a good man but he wasn't lying about that regardless of what else he was lying about okay it's time we get out of here mm -hmm. we'll remember our work. We, yeah we, we my know. concern we, with this isn't whether the conditions of the people down here it's what we know those things were guarding we don't know what they were guarding presumably the people maybe something else do you do you you, you were there last time we fought these creatures. Yes. People are their food. Yes, and when we fought them, they were not... Protection. They were not, uh... Mm -hmm. They were not, not as docile. Yeah. So these are different somehow. Well, it's like you said, is, they're feeding them, and we can all assume what. The question is, <laughs> what crime do you have to commit? To become food. That is the question. Not stealing, that's for sure. All right. Well, we should, we can talk about this later. Let's we go. Should go. We should get out of here. Make a decision. The girl needs to be safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I agree. But we all remember the path. We know how to get in. We'll be back. Hey. And we'll see. Good job today. Good. <laughs> you'll, you'll get back <laughs> with the party soon. <laughs> I hope. Coming for all for balls of the law. In like the next three sessions, I'll start. Yeah, going away. session or two or three. Or <laughs> then what do you do? I go to the market right. to go get some cloth. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. No, I'm gonna see you guys. See you two weeks. See ya. <laughs> All right, so let's go. We let's head go. back up. Off to All right, okay. we start working our way up the stairs. You do know that it was very confusing coming through here, so it's going to take some work to get back. Were there, the there were like work. offshoots and stuff? Yeah, there were offshoots. Oh. Was anybody like it's drawing not bread? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I was under the impression it was just like a, a single cavern. That's right. Uh, we have a ranger with us. I could us. have marked the yes, walls, but it, it would have and been the, And the an an animal who has these keen, keen, keen senses. hearing and senses. So I'm not pretty confident, yeah. I'm not the so you meander, you meander, you make your way up the steps, and you find yourself nice and uh, in a massive, massive uh, warehouse. And through scattered oh, wow. around the warehouse are the remnants of human personal belongings, bags, linen objects, bits of clothing, shoes. Mm -hmm. Personal items, trinkets, baubles, toys, what have you. But it's just like scattered around in little piles. And he says, hey, it's a theater. And he leads you through this warehouse, through another one that looks fairly similar. And then he takes you to an outside door. He says, ah. Can I can I take a closer look to the the blows? Yes. I wanna see if I can figure out what kind of people they are. Are they people from here? Are they travelers? Roll an investigation check. Nope. Okay. Roll a five. Yeah. You're not sure. You don't look like wealthy people or anything like just like peasant folk. A lot of I mean there might be some mixed in there. No, nothing special. Okay. And we're gonna pause there. Everybody have a good time? Yes. 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 A little bit dark. Yeah. A little bit. Uh huh? A little bit? Yeah. A little bit. In places. Yeah. Not Quite too dark? 
No. No, 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 no. The cavern was literally the darkest thing in the world. <laughs> but <laughs> 40 <laughs> feet, the cavern, the cavern, was, cavern was pretty dark. I don't mean physically dark. <laughs> yeah, mean, no, I know. Psychologically. I don't think it was. Dark. Dark. Yeah, no, it wasn't It wasn't too bad. Okay. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> okay. You were going for more like, dark? Huh? huh? You were going for more dark? Uh, you never know. There was you a know, lot of ways yeah. it could have been a lot more different. Beating the woman, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. One person's that could have been a lot is, worse. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Somebody yeah. else, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You never know. I mean, I could be wrong. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal. Good no problem. Okay. Thanks. So everybody had a good time. I'm glad everybody had a good time. Listen, uh, some experience. Um, uh, things uh, are, are always different than you think they will be. We weren't that far off. We did some things, obviously, I didn't anticipate. But uh, in character, it's going around. We'll start on this side. Uh, trade ideal bond flaw in character and whatever else. Um, Jumnus Dunflower. Uh, okay. Uh, if we're specifically following the traits and all that stuff, well, you tell um, me. The strive to avoid violence when possible. Uh, so I, I very quickly deflated what could have been a fight between the guards. Um, and then I had like, I thought I had a lot of good moments with like, uh, with the, the girls specifically, um, trying to calm her down, uh, showing her Charlie the dog, and, and trying to make sure she was okay and some Anita. Um, and then uh, me and Borinth had a little moment at the end that wasn't, wasn't super big, but it was uh, discussing morality and the right thing and what to do. And I thought that was a good little RP moment as well. So I, that's, thought that was. I thought it was too. I thought it was too. Boulder in character. Uh, we have those who fight beside me are family and are worth dying for. And no man should bring harm to a child. I will see to it. So basically, I stumbled in on these guys in a room full of dead people with a girl that was hurt and I was like all right we gotta help and I jumped right in and right. did what they told me to do where are the eyeballs all right okay <laughs> just because I got a little side thing <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it wasn't yeah, not quite in this world that's free yeah, that was cool um Matthias Bathory I'm sorry Mark uh, uh, Kip Kalen. Yeah, so uh, today was a little more backstory um, Ooh, involved, yeah. which is pretty cool. Uh, I thought that was really cool, Tom. Thank you. Um, so just had that moment there um, over the dead body, uh, and then um, that kind of drove me to get a little angry at the guard there and threaten him. Um, yeah. That was, Claws. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was good. Uh, yeah, and then a little goofy moment with Eli, but... Uh, you still didn't kill anyone yet, they're wolf did. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> just as a reminder. Ouch! <laughs> Mattias Bathory, Reiner, be thank you for it. joining us via Skype. Um, in character, well, train at Beal Bond, keep train keep ideal more damage, no Bond, uh, Claw. Just, like, that's in my character, trait. I didn't, didn't really have much opportunity to do, much, to do a deal this time. Um, I think the closest I came was um, trying to make sure that the uh, girl wasn't uh, too, wasn't afraid while we investigated what was going on with the passageway under the bed. Unfo that's about it. Okay. Okay. Um, the very cool. And again, thank you for joining us via Zoom via Skype. Eli, shalom. The yeah. I, I guess if we're going by our traits here. What, what, what did they, what's the guy say in um, Pirates of the Caribbean? Uh, they're more like a guideline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was he talking about? The, uh, the, the, the rules. The code. Yeah. The fire code. Yeah. The, 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 the fire code. It's more like a guideline. I, I, I tried to play <laughs> the... <laughs> they're more like guidelines. I try to play the monk side of my character that I don't usually. I always try to put a, a little bit of it on the game. Um, by traits, I, I never stopped believing that we were gonna make it. Um, I really enjoy using the, the rogue stuff that you will never see a regular monk. Using. <laughs> what you're any inquisitive? You're a cool monk. I'm a cool monk. <laughs> you're a cool monk. <laughs> but yes, I am. And I guess uh, not trying to 
aggravate the situation with the, with the guards that I, it was never my intention to start a fight with the guards that's why I, I said uh, I'm gonna wait for the guy <laughs> I'm gonna talk with the guy because you know we don't have to kill everyone why not <laughs> that's, that's not thing, that's though. not what God Everybody dies Okay, that's true. Do. We don't have to help them along. <laughs> Orin. Virtue, uh, trade ideal bond flaw, and character. Um, well, I, I kind of used my barbarian appearance and the physicality yes. of trying to, I gotta find my D20. you know, basically stall, try to create time for everyone to either get out of that room or yeah. for something to happen. Um, and and that, that was clearly in the best interest of the group because I could have just left and left them to their own, but I, you know, I, but I tried to use the, yeah, the physicality of, of the character itself to try to prevent anyone from going into the room. Um, I, um, and I kind of continued to almost like question, not really question, but talk to Jonas about Saren Ray and like asking him what, what does she tell you? Like I'm almost like I'm still kind of being curious about it a little bit, talking with him. Um, I don't know what else I really did. Well, that's cool. I really didn't do much else. Uh, if we right. make a live for the next couple weeks, I got a really cool thing I want to do, for role play wise. Okay. Us, but All right. We, we need we'll to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, Jonas, <clears throat> um, great role playing with, uh, in particular, your interaction with Borinth. I thought that was really cool, and your you're questioning oh, tracking of, of what <laughs> you guys are doing. Oh, yeah. you imagine oh, you yeah. like find it. Oh, that was the other thing. I was, yeah. I was uh, and Borinth was is looking to Jomnis to help him decide what's considered good and bad. I like it. You know, like he a is constantly questioning a that, and that line. Going to the beach. Yeah. Best book. <laughs> it's like a sit we got a sitcom thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think uh, I think Jumpus and Bald are having a falling out. <laughs> Stop wow. plucking eyeballs from people. Maybe we wouldn't. I think our interests are no longer alive. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? I thought that that was cool. I thought it was great RPing as well. Oh, neat. Thank you. Um, uh, 496. And I also saw you did a, a log, and I like that you included some, uh, there were some really introspective things in there. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I was trying so to. 496 on experience. Uh, uh, Ryan, uh, sticking with the eyeball thing and, uh, and, and oh, playing it. All the way I through. I thought that was good. <laughs> uh, I realized later that the woman would not have been a. Worthy opponent. Oh, fresh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not a question of, well, that might have been a, an element as well. But probably that thing would not have asked because she was not would not have been a worthy opponent. Does that make sense? I think so. Your call was a good call. Yeah. I don't know if it, I guess, I don't I know think, if that paper I have yeah, explains read it. That. I'm pretty sure it says it has to be a Worthy I remember that being power. mentioned before. Yeah, no, so really can't messed be, up. I don't you just can't go like, 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 like children. Right you can't go on a killing spree. I mean, you could. It's not gonna work. Not gonna... It wouldn't give me gold. Yeah, I mean, it, it might thanks to satiate it in a thanks very thanks to uh, Mark's selection. Oh man, and we now here? we now have <laughs> a dragon eye money indicator, which I'll put my uh, eyeballs okay. in. Mark, you need to mark your suggestion. Your use of potions was pretty. Well, that was really that cool. Was bringing that up in the middle of it. Yes, it was. Awesome. Yeah. That was very. Uh, that was very generous of you too. Very, very cool. Four fifty-two. Very rare potion. Four fifty-two on experience. Uh, mark. Uh, uh, great RPing with those cards. I hope that did add an element. It was obviously, clearly intended to do so. Some of it was derived from, thank you Not for the log. Close, right? I seven. think that was great oh, stuff really? because it helps me no, no, come up with I'm ideas sorry. too to kind of, yeah, eight, I'm not far away. I'm going to go where you necessarily want to go, it's but I think. it yeah. gives me inspiration. Not this kind of pretty inspiration. Sure it's like a long way. Yeah. Guidelines. 34. Yes. Ah, <laughs> like, it's it's super just awesome. a guide. So like <laughs> um, uh, 496 yeah. on experience. Mattias Reiner, uh, thank you for joining us by Skype. See what that thank you for uh, the uh, the log. Appreciate it. It's uh, classically Mattias, uh, which is very uh, predictable. But that's there's nothing wrong with predictable. Uh, 496 on experience. Yeah. 
uh, <laughs> Eli Shalom. Uh, great job with you being a rogue, which I, uh, which is cool because is. you're not just playing this fighter or Templar, you're playing this rogue. And I like that you're being, you're actually putting the inquisitive in inquisitive and being somewhat investigated. I think that's really, really cool. What is your Because that's what class? I see the huh? class What as. is your class? I'm a rogue. But he's an inquisitive oh. rogue. Well, because I heard you say monk oh, yeah, yeah. and you rogue. Mean? Because I'm, are you dual class? As a person, oh, I, got I am a monk. Okay. I got you, I got you. One more game. I was taking a Christian. I was taking it literally, I was taking it literally, class, literally. Dylan, you got a bunch of people. Should be precise. Yeah. Dylan, if you're watching, uh, you 452. I think you're close to joining the party. I think you're close. You're getting close. There's a potential in the next. You guys are both in the late evening of the same day. So there's a potential. 452 on experience. If I don't tell you via text, 452. And. Uh, Brian, uh, the barbarian, uh, great RPing outside. Yeah, I, I thought for sure you were gonna start bashing that. I was, I was <laughs> one turn. I was one round away. I just start taking. I was holding. The closer they got, once those guards got within melee range, I was gonna have to do something. I thought for sure. I was like. They're done. <laughs> <laughs> but I had um, I have twenty hit points. You know, I often say you guys go off in a different direction, but it's not a bad direction. So don't misinterpret. I think I said that before, and it's not a bad thing. But just because things don't occur the way I have them in my mind, that doesn't make it a bad thing. It's just different. Yeah. And I obviously, I, if you look about the floor scattered about me. <laughs> I thought it was going to go another direction, but that's okay. It's just, it's a lot of fun. You were sure you were going to try to kill the guards. <laughs> well, I mean, like that. listen, yeah. I had, if yeah, I didn't take a healing pretty. potion, I had 10 hit points. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what am I going to do at 20 hit points? Uh, like, I, you know, I mean. I just find it hilarious that Borinth is the one that's thinking cleverly, like, throw the coins instead of uh, fighting, I, right? I, I and think then gonna... get the ropes. You don't fall to your death, Eli. Like, that's <laughs> coming from the barbarian, guys. <laughs> <All right>. he, <laughs> was, he was exhausted and badly beaten. He right. needed something. Yeah. He's yeah, like, I ain't I fighting was, these guys. I'm throwing I, gold. So I was very <laughs> close to using my weapons AoE attack. Where that would have probably leveled all of the people that were out there too. That would one d six times five. That would have been awesome. Because one d six. You do that, then I come outside and go, "What have you done?" Yeah, I mean, that was my next move. That was my next move. Try to take the moral high ground. All of us inside the house. Is it gold here? That guy was worth it. Yeah, there you go. Well, did everybody have a good time? Oh, I didn't get my experience. I'm out there going, sweet. I didn't get mine either. I didn't give you yours. How did I not give it to you? A four fifty two on experience. Did everybody have a good time? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But you are yeah. right. It does say warriors or worthy opponents. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not <laughs> trying to be right. I'm just trying to. Uh, I was thinking about it afterward. Um, I hope everybody had a good time. So that when we next meet, uh, the party is just exiting the warehouse. You do know that, that you left a building behind <laughs> with lots of bodies in it. So I'm eight away. The, the people below may not know about it yet. <laughs> seven, seven um, away. Yeah. <laughs> now we can do about that. Yet. <laughs> when? Yes. When is our next? When is our next game for this? Uh, our Unless next we get game. Down, burn it down. Is it not first. in? Two oh no! I'm just moment. asking for right now. So the, the uh, second is Eberron. The ninth. I'm not going to be here. Yeah. Um, I actually think we're taking like a two. Um, two like, wow. Two Are we playing the ninth? Or we're not officially playing them tonight. The Today is July 26th. We are playing on. Is it a, second? On we are playing. Everyone. Oh, the next week. Several. Yeah, the ninth. I guess would be the next. I'm one. sorry. The. I won't be there. August second. Yeah. My understanding is Eli's game. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then August 9th is the Carpathian adventure. Okay. And then, then I am to defend America. For a little while longer. Okay, no, I hope everybody had a great time. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching Seven Sided Dies Carpathian Adventure. Ding that bell. Ding the bell. Golden Monkey Tees. We'll be DMing next week's Echoes of Dream War, which oh. I get to play in. And then, Ooh. as we just confirmed, I will see you again in two weeks. Please comment in the Twitch chat room. Say that 10 times fast. And on Instagram and on YouTube below. 
Please Thanks. let us know how we might improve this stream, our stream, your stream. Also, please follow us on Twitch and Instagram. Like and Instagram. sub or subscribe on YouTube. And as Brian the Hammer just said, <laughs> ding that bell. Ding the bell. For now, thank you for watching. Roll the seven-sided die. Have a great night. Good night.